All right, welcome to episode two. So, um, first match was interesting to say the least, but we lost it anyway. So I guess we need to win a few of the remaining ones. And I didn't really have time to reflect on the matter. Obviously, I could have done it off stream, but you know, I guess we should um. Should do this another way. Um, I'm not specifically against a 442 in particular, but um, I think I should take my time with the squad. So we realized that Chuchu is probably one of the better players. Now that we can play him out here on the left, given that he's right footed but doesn't really have the attributes for an Edward Winger, that's kind of weird. Um, I'd rather play him on the right, to be perfectly honest. He does not have to pace anymore, given that he's 32. But acceleration's still alright. Stamina's fine. He has most of the attributes needed. Sure, dribbling could be a little bit better. On the other hand, he can cross the ball. So that's not bad. We might also be able to retrain him as a defensive winger at some point. His tackling isn't that bad. And, well, that requires less of a physical attitude, so I guess that's not bad. It might be a thing. He is also a very consistent performer, and well, we are lacking defensively, right? So, assuming we play him like this, where the hell is Choo Choo? That's the wrong Choo Choo. <laughs> assuming we play him like this, Mr. Choo Choo. I'm, I'm not decided yet. Hi, welcome back to the stream, man. So, assuming we play him like this, we only have... Uh, an additional 10 positions to figure out. Who else is there in the squad? Well, Abdul Rahman is Mavi, who apparently is rather fast and could do as a reasonable choice in central defense, but I'm not excited by him just yet. And given these mantles, well, um, Let's just say we should uh, should uh, utilize his uh, pace and acceleration. On the other hand, his crossing is rubbish. You assume correctly, and uh, you missed the first stream. Do you want me to spoil you other than this, or do you <laughs> want to watch the, the whole episode and come back to this later? Your choice. But let me just say... Where is it? Spoil me. All right, here we go. We have Christmas sweaters. This is this is all I'd say for now. So it's it's obviously it's the time of the year. Uh, maybe I'm a bit early with this, but whatever. It's Christmas time. No snow though. No snow at all. We're in Malaysia. So I didn't come. Far from Indonesia, actually. Also, the manager is named Nils Ramang, as we decided. And as you can see by the attribute profile, he is really talented in living on the street and doing whatever pace. We do come with, uh, with scouting knowledge in Sweden and Indonesia, though, due to the nationality of the guy. So, that's us. Nils Ramang, yeah. Also, the club has no staff whatsoever, and, well, we, I should probably show you. So, the club is uh, Sarawak United FC. I probably misspelled it in the title of this episode. Or not. Um, come to think of it, it's a club with red kits that has United in the name. So, I guess uh, the lawyers will already be on my heels. But, whatever. Um, this is Malaysia. We're not we're not on an island. Well, we're not in Great Britain anyway. So yeah, uh, do I want to excite you somewhat? Um, this is even lower league than than Indonesia was, I guess. On the other hand, it's still better than Ireland. Uh, might not be um, better than Wales. Not sure. Maybe worse than Wales. Um, it's entirely appropriate for somebody of our lack of skill, though. And I really didn't want to go back to Wales. 
there were a few other options available, but um, well, you you might as well look at them in case you're interested at some point, but not for now. Also, this squad, um, you tell me. So, assuming you have the time, you tell me what's wrong about this squad, given given this lineup. You you can probably figure it out by yourself. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's one thing. What's the other one? Well, uh, I can I can tell you for now. This guy might do as a central defender, but um, yeah, he he might also um, he might also be fullback or something. So um. And left defender, this is the trial list, so he's not even under contract, it barely shows here, I don't know. For some reason the trial list colors have been adapted and now it looks white with a slight shade of green, I guess. No, I'm, I'm going on about this. What the fuck is this? Who the hell plays with a trillion strikers? Yeah, something like this, it's, it's not 10 yet, but... It's eight. Now, bonus question. There's nothing to win here, but I would <laughs> say you embrace it. Um, let me put it that way. We will go to the squad U, um, sorted by. No, let's sort it by position, actually, and let's look into the strikers. You see, you see my secondary problem with that. Yeah, but, um, you know, free striker formations usually don't go with eight poachers. <laughs> it's fucking nonsense. I don't know what to do with these people. There's one of them that I can live with. That's this one. Nor Aziz Romli. And let me just say this. Attribute profile looks like, okay, he could be a poacher. Nah, that's, that's the one that is poacher only. I was talking about another one. Where's the other one? Yeah. I will show you the first match. This is the result of the first match. We played a 4-4-2. We lost it 4-5. We conceded 5 goals. And this was box standard 442. They were used to that. So, probably not gonna increase the, the amount of strikers. I, I might want to score seven or eight goals per match and go with, uh, with eight poachers, obviously. But, I don't know. It's nonsense. Um, now they're. Finances? Finances is an achievement. This is the first achievement. I will show you Club Vision instead. Where is it? Uh, here we go. Repair the club's financial damage was one of the expectations. We went into this 5k in the red, and then, well, sponsorship income came in, and apparently that means we passed it. Now, club finances say we have a whole whopping balance of 963 euros. But I can top you. There's absolutely zero people in the, in, in the matches. Like, nobody watches these. So we don't even earn any money. Look at the gate receipts. It's one euro for the first match. Like, we played today. This is literally the amount of money we earn. We get some TV revenue, but there's nobody watching the matches. So, given that the wage budget shows a whopping um, <laughs> current wage budget of 4.3k per week, there might be a slight discrepancy between the amount of money we throw at our eight strikers and the amount of money we earn from playing them. So, <laughs> basically we spend it all on Christmas presents. And just like with Christmas presents, I think the, the image is fitting, just like with Christmas presents, there's barely anything in here that we want. So, <laughs> I didn't pick this on purpose. It, I don't know. I, I guess I picked it on purpose, but I didn't know about the, uh, the status quo of this club. 
This is... Interesting. Also, um, there's two players in this uh, squad that are named Chuchu. I will just I will continue to pronounce it like this. Not sure how it's pronounced in in real life. Maybe Choo Choo. I don't know. Whatever. Um, sounds awfully close to Choo Choo, like a train. So um, I'm gonna make a lot of train jokes, given that um, he plays on the right rail. I don't know. Something like this. Um, he's 32 years old, but this is one of the better players in our squad. So, we're gonna keep him. Also, apparently a consistent performer and a leading player for, for League 3. Fucking hell, I need a choo-choo. Okay, yeah. You are right, of course. In case we don't get fired within five matches. I will, I will put this on one of these, as you do in the modern age. Uh... All right, choo choo sticker. That's that's my plan for the weekend. Hopefully, hey, I will get it done. For the fan club. Are you quite sure it's not a self help group? Should probably have adapted the the sound in in case there was some echo. Sorry about that. Also, thank you for the follow, whoever that was. Patricia Mary. Well, welcome to the stream. So, um. There's also an, uh, a second Choo Choo guy, and this is the only fairly professional um, person in the squad. I have my problems with the attribute sample, though. Like, looking at this, it says he's a playmaker, so with four points of passing, he's probably not a playmaker. I'm gonna give you that. What about... Well, what about this? Not not much better, right? Can't dribble. So playmaker-ish with anything with dribbling is probably a bad idea. Has no balance to, balance to speak of. Well, I guess the dribbling could be worse, but in particular the anticipation is really bad. Attacking midfielder stuff? Whoa, probably not. I guess the finishing is fine. So we could argue that maybe. We could argue that maybe um, maybe his anticipation and composure just need some improvement, and we should give him some time. Also, nice of you to, uh, for, uh, to ask her. Um, that's it. So let us know, Patricia. Because, well, apparently, to be part of this self help group, you obviously need a safe in FM. So I don't know about any of this. Um, yeah, I want to I want to include this guy in the squad, but I have a hard time coming up with something that he's good at. I I guess um, derived from last time I played, Shadow Striker is probably the most likely thing. Maybe Metzala, but he's really shitty at defending too. That said, he's fast enough. Like in this league, that's probably enough to be competitive. Uh, competitive at least. So. This might just be a worst case of Imbiri slightly aged and not that good. So maybe we want to keep him as a squad player. Well, in that case, um, hopefully you can learn. Fingers crossed. So maybe I'll keep the second choo choo too, just to be confusing. Also, one's, one's first name is Asman and the other's first name is. Ashri, so that will not help. Yeah. Um, goalkeepers are shit. Who are good players in the squad? Norman An Ankun is a decent player, I think. What what suggestion? For, for a football club, well, just pick anyone. Uh, pick one. Doesn't matter much. Ooh. Arsenal. That's certainly an acquired taste. How are they doing these days? 
like, honestly. I have no idea. So this guy's balance is really bad. But I guess the best position for him is DLP. Or maybe roaming playmaker, really. Uh, it's kind of weird, but... Overall, he's not that bad. I guess. The, the bad dribbling, maybe. So... I would like for him not to run with the ball, preferably, which means advanced playmakers out. Uh, we might do Metzala too, obviously. Doesn't really use his pace. Finishing is, like, his finishing is bad. I want him away from the goal. Long shots are much better. This stuff... Sure, a central midfielder on attack would be viable. Um, I, I guess it's not that bad. But... Apart from that, maybe DLP is a reasonable choice too, but really, he's kind of doesn't really utilize his pace. So, you live near London and you're from the USA. That is there, a, there's probably like five Londons in USA too. In the United States. They probably cloned the name. So. What am I going for here? Well. Um, this Rumbly guy is really fast. So. It would be nice for us. To include him. He has a decent finish. Shouldn't be that bad. He can also do pressing forward. Not exactly his strong suit, but he might be able to do that. On on attack, preferably. And, well, he's strong enough to be target forward, actually. Wouldn't really want to use him that way, though. But there's another striker that is more rounded, I think. Please tell me it's not this one. No. Should be him? Neither. Where's the guy? Well, yeah, something like this, at least according to, um, I will look. Should be this one, right? He's, he's alive and well. And in this save, he's, <laughs> he's 24 years old, Chalan Nullet. You really want me to do this? <laughs> He's in Portugal right now. On 40 euros per week. I mean, I guess. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're from the stars. She's from the United States, but from London. And uh, I'm apparently from the streets, given that this is a hobo safe. So, seems like a good sample. Yeah, is, is this like, is this cheating? Employing Jorge Cesar? I, re I really should visit the United States at some point. Well, all I can hear of over here in, in, in Europe is uh, like political discourse and gun violence. Probably, well, we have our own problems with racism, so uh, I'm not gonna go there. But anyway, hashtag no politics on Twitch. I'm gonna offer him a trial. I'm not gonna offer him a trial. Apparently I can't. But a thousand euros a week we can probably not afford, come to think of it. So that will probably not help. Um, what I want to do is I want to sign this guy. We do not have a left back and we need somebody, anyone. Even though he might go to the under 18 team. So 
Not sure about the traits yet, but we know that this guy is a resolute player. With, well, whatever media handling. And apparently he speaks English and Malay, so that's not bad. We can communicate with each other. So I'm gonna give him a contract. As a youngster, that's fine. As a youngster that does not get paid to play, that would be perfect. Okay, apparently we are so close. This is how people meet. And on my stream on the internet. Alright, this is fine, isn't it? 35 euros per week, uh, per game, I think we can play, uh, pay him that. If he plays. That said, with that personality, he stands a chance. It says here he's a decent uh, Liga 4, however this is pronounced. Alright. So we're gonna sign him. Just to have a left back at all. Oh yeah, I tried that. Uh, wanna reduce the bonus though doesn't matter to him so 35 euros per, per, per match all right um the biggest problem with this entire squad is also they are friggin expensive like all of them and if i sort this by wages okay choo choo i can keep so given that i want to keep him i might as well extend his contract contract runs out at the end of the season i don't want that well i, I might want it but whatever um Let's give him a new contract, but reduce that amount of money. If he wants to. I'm on 24 now, bravo, yes. Welcome to the stream. And, uh, well, today will be really fantastic, because we will sort the trash. And given there is a lot of trash, we will probably sort through half of the squad. Also, there is no matches for three weeks, so welcome to the stream. Uh, here we go. This is, the, this is the setup for today. We lost the first match. And now we will go through all of this shit and get rid of whatever we can. Because we cannot afford to pay them. Like, there's... I, I just showed it to Cherenolid. So let me just rest that point again. Well, not rest that point. Let me just say that point again. We had a match. We earned a whole whopping one euro. Um, this is... As it says in the title... Sarawak United FC. With the Christmas sweaters in Malaysia. So apparently I'm on the next trip towards Asia. Toward, towards whatever. Um, it's close to Indonesia. Close enough. Uh, that said, our manager this time is Nils Ramang. Yes, uh, it was recommended to, to me um, in the previous season. So, and as you can see, he, he's been living on the streets and uh, practicing set pieces. And that's about it. Three one three one two. Yeah, that that or we sign other players. Cause the skill set of most of these that are within this club are also really shit, and we we need to get rid of um. We need to get rid of half of these anyway. Um. Also, let's have a look at the goalkeepers for a second, just um to to make you. I don't know. Suffer, I guess. As you can see here, this is a very hopeful prospect, given that he has three points of communication and basically similar skill with one-on-ones and throwing. Um, we do not expect him to be able to um, coordinate defensive line, uh, the defensive line, and neither uh, do we expect him to command the area or something. Um, also, he cannot throw the ball for sure, and he will be out of position all the time. So... <laughs> it's my fault that you worked late into the night though Tidong so do not apologize it's my turn to apologize sorry about that and welcome back uh... so the goalkeeper's shit what, where, where's the other one? Oh yeah he's even better his one-on-ones is a whole whopping six points, but also his command of area 
is two. Also, he cannot anticipate anything. We played him last time, and well, um, let me just say we conceded three goals prior to him touching the ball. So, not very happy with that one either. Yeah. Also, I need to find a striker I was going for, because there is one striker in the squad that I'm okay with. And it's not this one. Even though Rumbly scored uh, two goals, what's the other one? We played him last time. Where the hell is he? Asnan. No. Did I really... Did I play Hasnan and, Has and Ram Lee and that's about it? Did I imagine the other striker that was tolerable as a target forward? I guess I did. <laughs> you sure you didn't continue your old save from the beta? It, it sure sounds like you made it back to Manchester United after being fired. Due to um, circumstances that you put on the Discord. So, okay. I need to come up with something here. First of all, we need to extend his contract. And I'm not doing this because I really love the player, but, but because I think he's tolerable and we will find a place in any lineup for him. That's alright. Let's use him. So, this automatically means we will play with a winger, or at least with an inverted winger, maybe. Most likely with a winger. I must be sick. Anyway, no, winger it is. Okay, he does not want to extend his contract due to be being given inferior terms to what he earns right now. Yeah, that's true. Um, this guy, I'm not so sure about. I'd rather not offer him out either, though. So maybe he wants to extend his contract on inferior terms. He relishes big matches and he's a good player for us apparently, but I don't know, he's fast enough, but as a central defender he's lackluster, and as a fullback, well, I guess the crossing's even worse, and there's just some obvious doubt about this guy. That said, it's not like we stand much of a choice. He wouldn't want to extend his contract either right now. So we'll go through all of these, I guess. Nor Aziz Rumley has some strength in him and some reasonable heading. He's also 1 meter 73, so I guess that's not that bad. 250 euros a week. I really do not need 15 poachers, but I guess we can deal with one. That said, he's highly susceptible to injury, so don't want to extend his contract. If somebody comes and buys him off our hands, we will probably find a replacement. This guy whilst being banned right now, is 23 years old. He's on 230 euros a week, which is still a shitload of money for us. But, 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 at least he can pass a ball. So, let's build on that, won't we? I do not really know how to employ him on the pitch. Well, pro probably DLP. Given that advanced playmaker involves dribbling, dead or a central midfielder on attack. Like, this is really, this is a choice. This, this could be a, not, uh, a possibility. I think. Because, well, he can score from distance. And his decision making and his, his anticipation and composure, we can probably deal with this. So. That means we play a Metzala. Alright. So assuming we play a Metzala. Um what the hell was his name again? Norman Ankun. Alright. So assuming we play Norman Ankun too. This feels like either Hawk Dolls already. Where the hell is Ankun? There. Obviously he's banned. So we play a Metzala, alright? On, was it on attack or on support? Forgot. No, we don't play a Metzala. We play a central midfielder on attack. It's even worse. Okay, cool. We play a central midfielder on attack. And Chuchu right to his side. Cool. Why not? So, 
basically one train going down the right and uh, one not so trainy guy going through the middle. Cool. So much for gold scoring. Now, these two we will probably keep. I'm not so sure of playing him as a poacher. That's sad. Who cares? We might also play him as a pressing forward, for example. Anyone remembers... I don't think any of you have been around, actually. Back in the day, with, with Isha, we had a weird striker with Yida Hockdahl's IK that had a whole whopping four points of finishing. His physicals were fine, though. Looking at this guy, well, um, he could use some balance and some jumping reach, but otherwise he's fine. Yes, like, sure, bravery and concentration is really low, and also he will hurt himself, so obviously we gotta help him with that, given that he wants to hurt himself. So, he might not do as a target forward, though. No, um, we will probably play him as a pressing forward. On attack is a bit much, though, for my taste. I don't want to rely on the... the... The problem is, on attack doesn't really fit our tactic. And his teamwork and work rate are really shit. But what can you do? So, I'm starting to think... This could actually be... What the hell? I cannot pick the formation anymore, can I? I want to play in a... Shouldn't I be, shouldn't I be able to pick the formation only here? Oh, here we go. I, I was on the wrong menu, sorry. You see, it's been a long day. Where the hell is the 4141? Well, apparently that doesn't exist anymore. All right, no four, no four one four ones anymore. Cool. So we'll pull you back here, and you back here. And now we will play him as a pressing forward on defense duty. Chuchu on support. Does this make sense? Dropping back one position for now. Where is it here? Might as well train him as a defensive winger. Why not? So say we play him as a defensive winger. Not sure if that's the, this is the best idea. Um, I'm just uh, trying to come up with stuff now. Um, so that means he would cover somewhat for Ang Ang Kun going forward. And this guy, who was it? Bromley. So that's our striker. Now we need a replacement striker and the rest can go. Okay. Kreya. Kreya is already at the core of my heart. That's strictly due to the fact that he conceded two own goals in the first match. So... Obviously, this is the best central defender we could find. But... To be a bit more kind, on 190 euros per week, he's also probably too expensive. It says here he's a consistent performer. Like, what? <laughs> Alright, if you say so. Um, so, let's say we use him. For now. Maybe we get rid of him, I don't know. So we use him here, we use the other central defender here, and then we need to find replacements for them. But uh, transfer window's open, by the way, so we can re-ramp the entire squad. We just need to remain in the league somehow. And there's obvious trade-offs there. So say we go with it like this. Is there a defensive midfielder? Yeah, this guy. That was the one with the long shots. He is really bad at what he does otherwise. He does have... He doesn't have strength. Neither does he have marking. His long shots are good. Can we play him? Well, 
He, we could retrain him to be Metzala at some point, but for now we need a ball winning midfielder or something. We might also go for a more possession based system, given that he has a whole whopping 7 points of passing. Segundo Volante is probably a bit of a creative role for him though. Can we? What about halfback? That's even worse. Would be a weird form of a register, I guess. So not gonna do that. Probably something like this. That's an 18 year old though, also an overpaid 18 year old. So assuming we offer him a new contract, he doesn't want to because, well, his current contract is well damn expensive. So I guess we keep him for now. And say we go with ball winning midfielder here. Say we go with... Uh, I guess we do not want to concede, so we go defensive. And now let's have a look at this, this back row. So he's not that slow, but he's not really fast. Marking is fine, positioning is rather bad. That's problematic. Krayer, on the other hand, positioning and marking are somewhat fine. He's not really fast. So that says low block to me. Problem is, their jumping is 9 and 7. So low block, I don't know, maybe not. We, we could come up with... Um, we could press really high here in this kind of formation. Yeah, and just try to win the ball high up on the pitch. That might be an idea, yes. Let me have a look at that again. If we go no nonsense, they just go out. So for Krayer, it might make sense. For him, I'm not so sure. But sure, we can we can go no nonsense no nonsense on both of them, for starters. Um, that would well they would play more direct passes and in, uh, in in these circumstances. Not sure if that's a good idea. Um, I will probably revamp this multiple times anyway. Um, for left back, we'll probably go with this guy for now. That said, um, no nonsense fullback is probably not his thing. But his dribbling seems to be really low, and same with the rest. That's just due to the fact that the only alternative we have in the squad right now is this guy. He does not even play here. So we would need to employ a wing back with four points of tackling. I, I'd rather sign somebody with a good personality. So, I don't know what to do with him. Can we renegotiate his contract? No! Like, none of these wants to have a new contract, given that they all earn too much money. Then, we have a striker that is suspended now. It's an 18-year-old poacher that scored three goals for us on the league, but not since my reign. Oh, that was the one that got a straight red. Yeah, you know what we'll do to him? So either we will loan him out, or we will get him off the, off the books. Like... On 190 euros, okay, he doesn't want to renegotiate his deal. No surprises there. So, there was even worse material here. Where is it? This guy. This is even worse. I didn't play him yet, but I really don't want to. He has 6 points of jumping reach on a whole whopping 1 points of strength. And given the amount of ones in his attribute sample, I do not feel inclined to play him at all. Yes, that's an 18-year-old. I still don't think I want to. So, I think we'll try. Well, he's also susceptible to injury, just for, as a bonus. So, I want to offer him. I want to offer him out, and I have no idea what will happen. He's open to speaking to other clubs. Yeah, get out. Also, we would also loan him out, obviously. Ah, ah, okay, cool. Um, what's with Kumar? Yeah, that's not better, is it? Like, what would we do with this guy? 
So let's offer him more too. And hopefully get rid of him. Christopher Entling Simon. Well, he's a bit faster. So I guess as long as we do not have another pressing forward, that's the best we can do. That said, he's still damn expensive. And I think we can get a cheaper option with a similar skill level. As long as we can get rid of his wages. I don't even want money for him. So can we maybe, maybe loan him out? That would be great. And then there's Mr. Hasnan. That's... Scored four goals apparently. Two goals in the last match. Cool. So... Not really fond of the guy, but on the other hand... I, I guess for a match or two he will probably do. And um, as an added bonus, he's not on 180 euros plus. So that's alright, he can stay. This guy will go back at some point, it seems. No, he's, he's, he's with us, but he's loaned out. That's how it is. So given that it... Oh, they pay the wages for the duration of the loan, apparently. No. It clearly states here that they do, though. So we'll assume that this is correct. Um, I think I tried to sell both of these immediately, but, well, nobody was interested for some reason. Luckily, we are born to these two players for another year. What's with Atzman Chuchu? Uh, well, I guess central midfielder it is for him. What kind, though? Can he do anything? Is, is there a central midfielder role that does not require a passing? Well, this is not the one for sure. He also can't defend. Come to think of it. I guess box-to-box -box midfielder would be alright. His passing is shitty. Yeah, but I'm trying to come up with a formation... I'm trying to come up with a formation that is um, that is tight. Ball winning midfielder defend, I, I thought too. That said, he has one point of strength, three points of marking and three points of tackling, so... Insert doubt meme here. Meme here. No, I think box to box midfielder uh, might, might do though. Look at it. At least that uses his physicals. And his off the ball movement is alright. His finishing is alright. And we need a supporter in, the, in this formation anyway, so I guess that might work. So, say we play him as a box to box. Where the hell is he? Here. Yeah, maybe. But let's go with box to box for now. And obviously he needs passing, but on the other hand, he will probably not approve of training his vision again. Well, there's, there's so much about him that needs training. Uh, so we need a left winger. Oh, cool. There is none available because, well, we used Chuchu on the right. So... Obviously we can, we can put Chuchu to the left. Play him there, but really... This guy can probably remain, but given that he's on 180 euros, well, uh, I'd rather not. Like, all of these are too expensive. Yeah, but we, we are here for half a year, maybe. That's it. That's probably the best idea. Like, seriously. I agree with that. Let's do that. And we'll, we'll train him as a defensive winger, too. Just for good measure. And then we'll play him there too. Where the hell is he? There. So... Not sure yet. The defensive? Yes. I don't know about the low block and... Well, I do, I do know about the pressing. I do also know about the tackling. We will probably not go with hard tackles given the amount of cards we gave away last match. Uh, is this the good one? <laughs> 
Good one. Uh, first repla replacement needed, goalkeeper. Second replacement needed, right back. We have three weeks. So, on speaking otherwise, this is the trash. So, who can remain? This guy is on 180 euros per week. I assume this might be wrong. He, he also is prone to injury. And 22 years old, prone to injury. Contract has been started at the start of the year. Please go away. I, I assume we can get cheaper options that are better than this. Yeah, thank you very much. This is exactly what I uh, intended. Six gold. Well, to be fair, we need eight. Like, if there's eight strikers, we might as well use eight goalkeepers, right? So this is what we're gonna do, obviously. This Hussein guy... Like... His passing and first touch are fine. Hey, yet another member for the fan club. Are you quite sure it's not a self-help group? Thank you very much and welcome to the stream. So, what do we do with somebody like this? I, I guess we could go box to box on him too. Like, just for good measure, that said, he's damn expensive. And I don't know about his undoubtedly really great potential, but for this season it will not be on the pitch anymore. <laughs> this this is how it goes. <laughs> All right. If Cheryl Nullet says there's an ad break, I will. Um, I do not need fresh water. I guess I will see if my imaginary girlfriend is home. So um, we will have an ad break. BRB and enjoy your bathroom break, Cheryl Nullet. Okay, cool. Hopefully that was enough for Gerald Nutter to uh, get rid of whatever he wanted to get rid of. Otherwise, I, I guess we will need to talk shit for a minute. That's probably acceptable though. So, uh, I'm not sure if it's worth the money to be honest. Um, the problem is most of these earn 180 euros at least. Um, we know though, like looking at this, we know that this is not the minimum wage. It just isn't. This club is just vastly overpaying his play, uh, their players. So, not sure what's going on there. Yeah. Do I want to enter into contract negotiations with this guy? Sure. But given that he doesn't want to due to his deal being way too good, I guess we might as well try to sell him. He has good passing though. But that's the only thing he can do. So, not sure about that. He might be central midfielder on support, actually. In a really bad way. Don't want to pay that much money for him, though. So we'll offer him. And try to offload the wages. This guy is not that bad. We can probably keep him. For that money, though, ouch. We will need to renegotiate this deal. And, uh, before it ends, I guess. Uh, and the rest of the strikers, I basically tried to offload already. So that means we need to come up with player alternatives. Well, for some reason, we have an under-21 squad that is full of other players. Also, this guy is in the under-18s. Yet another poacher. Oh yeah, this is who I signed. I signed a 60-year-old. That's true. He's on a youth contract and he will be on a non-contract at some point. We try to make him a target for, but for some reason. Sure. Um, all of these guys, there's a 40-year-old 40, 40 that might be... Re wow. There's a 40-year-old that might be a good defender, actually. <laughs> for some reason in here. Uh, otherwise, is there any transfer business going on right now? Just these. So, given that we do not have a scouting network, might as well do with some additional trials, right? If I can find players... So, let's get rid of all of this. Do we have any recommendations right now? 
Not really. We'll use those, those that are with an expired contract though. Alright. We have these with us already. That's where we know anything about them, and that's about it. Cool. So, we might as well use the others. Come in, guys. 17 trials will probably not work, but whatever. Let's bring in some trial lists and put them straight into the under-21s. Okay, so we have... The other manager mocked me. I, I guess I learned a valuable lesson. Thank you very much, yeah. Alright, trialists. Obviously I can delegate this. Problem is... Well, I, I, I don't think I can delegate trials only, can I? I can't just delegate uh, contract negotiations in general. But not the trials uh, on on their own. So I guess that's a thing. So what what's the primary um, the primary need of the squad right now? Other than everything, is there something that we should focus on? Probably taking our time. Come to think of it, all of these. The data hub introduction. Um. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, there is no data hub. Also, there is no medical center data to speak of. Um, I think the, we should probably take all of these. With the exception of the own players. And put them straight to the under 18s this time. You can go down. Did I select one? These two can probably stay here. 17 people, that sounds about right. It's the under 19 here. Cool. Let's go through our under 19 squad for a second. Squad. And see if there's any, anyone with a reasonable personality. Fairly ambitious and very consistent. Well, that's not bad. We'll see how, how he is skill-wise. Apparently this guy doesn't exist. This is great players. I'm not sure why it shows great players, even though there aren't any in here. Oh, um, we'll just wait. So we're still looking for reasonable alternatives for the squad. And I guess given that nobody complained yet, we will just invite another bunch of trialists, right? No reason not to do that. So at some, at some point, management will complain. Yeah, we will basically invite everyone that we know. It's, it's both. Um, well, it depends. If, if you are a big club, ambitious is fine. And if you can throw money at them, there's a trial that was cancelled. Um, I think, uh, well, do you, do you want me to state it in the terms that are uh, a little bit more gamey or a, a little bit more meta? Or do you want me to state it in terms that are um, more um, akin to realism and football manager? Because I can probably provide both descriptions. It, it's really basically the same. But whatever. I I guess I'll go with the one that uh, is not uh, breaking the <laughs> the fourth wall that much. Um, so as far as I'm aware, um, ambitious players, play, layman's terms. <laughs> um, an ambitious player will commit um, to. Um, to make progress on and off the pitch. 
Bert said um, he prefers to make the progress on the pitch and not off the pitch. So um, obviously ambition is not professionalism. So they try to do their best on the pitch by themselves and they appreciate being challenged. That's good. The problem is they don't give a fuck if they are challenged with you or somewhere else. So they want to challenge themselves every single time in the extreme. Uh, uh, say 20 points of ambition. So um, top notch. They want a challenge every single match. And if they do not find challenges with uh, or your club to be challenging anymore, then they want to move on. Also, um, given that they challenge themselves every single time, they also challenge the amount of money you pay them. Like, repeatedly. So, as a result, you usually have an expensive player that wants to progress. And if they don't progress, they are not happy. This is also reflected by game mechanics. Yeah, exactly. It's um there's there's a saying in German, um roughly translated, um there is no use in uh there's no use in restraining um travelers, if that makes sense. So you know, once they want to go, let them go. Make some money on them. Yeah, that's that's the English, yeah. So the German version is Reisende soll man nicht aufhalten. So um, it's, uh, the implication there is um, don't even try to keep them. Because it's not worth the effort. Here for a good time, not for a long time. I've not heard it in a while. That's probably the motto of this safe. Maybe. These are all trash. He might be fine. He, he might be fine as long as he signs for no money whatsoever. Oh, look at that. There's material in here that can actually play on a footballing pitch. Yeah, well, good luck with that. What, what level do you play in right now, Bravo? Sorry if I forgot. There is a few players that reach the yellow card limits. Great. So we don't want these guys to be around in training there. You all go to another 21s. Welsh second tier. Well, perfect. So basically on my level. Trash territory. Fantastic. Feels right at home. <laughs> oh, this is so, so unkind. There's just good Welsh footballers, like Morgan Moody, for example. <laughs> to be fair, Simon Owen was a reasonable choice in, in Indonesia. He did well. Overall. Like, Simon, Simon Owen was okay-ish. I, I wouldn't say he was great. I don't think there are any. Um, or, or if there are, they are not very restrictive. Um, well, the idea with Arjo Cesar is not that bad. Like, seriously, we could just sign him. Doesn't matter. Hmm, true. That's the damn league. This. There we go. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if these players started there, though. Didn't they ever play on a youth team or something? Yeah, so... What's really interesting is also trialists are allowed to play in matches. So, we do not even have to sign the players. We can just play trialists. Oh no, there, there's a simple rule on foreign players, maximum of zero. So much for that. 
So to Hosha says the idea. But we just need not to get relegated. I, I would call this a success. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it will be something like, drop this club and get the fuck out of there. It's enough Christmas already. Hmm. I seriously thought to myself, Malaysia knowledge is minimal. I want this to be extensive and then we can move on. Trialists can play in competitive matches. In fact, we did last time out. We did play... Him. However good or bad he is, we did play him. And really, I would just go with average players at this point. That's not a bad idea, yes. That's actually a good one. Problem is, we do not have scouts. We might have scouts. Do we have scouts at this point? Where the hell is my stuff? We have director of football. So we can ask them. We do not have scouts yet. And an, an adword has been generated. So if we look into stuff search for scouts, I think the problem was they wanted like 140 euros, if I'm not mistaken. Same with the coaches. And I was like, hell no. I will show you. This is the wrong stuff. Here we go. Maximum judging player uh, ability is 4. <laughs> That's not a bad idea either. Um, but... So, let's try to sign this guy for a second, right? He wants 90 euros per week. That's actually not too bad. Let's go with... Is, is there like a 9 euro guy too? Like this one, maybe? He wants 92. So we will walk away from him. I, I would really prefer a cheap option here. Given that they know absolutely nothing. Okay, everybody wants 90. So we'll go with the... Obviously, we'll go with the most skilled one. In that case. Is there anyone in here that... They are... They are all Malaysian, are they? Uh, insert column general nationality they are all Malaysian so um, I do not expect any of these we, we might as well insert a column for the second nationality uh, where is it there see no second nationality so doesn't matter Everybody has scouting knowledge in Indonesia, and that's it. That's great. Apparently, no sportsmanship is a thing here. So we try to sign him, right? For five months? Yeah, sure. Um, we'll do that. And we will spend some money on this. But I will start with 50. Um, there's enough... Um, personnel that is similar available. So we'll try to lowball it. Hmm. Okay, we'll offer 70. He will probably not like that. And then for next time, we know that we will need to offer 75. Never mind. 70 it is. Do we need more than one scout? Well, I also offered for one that... Well, I guess his adaptability is fine. So that's not... that's a plus, actually. Let's use this one next. Oh, he's ambitious. We're all great. See, he wants 140. Fuck off. No way. This is what ambitious does. 
he's temperamental, don't want to sign him either. He wants 130, what the hell is going on? He's a casual, no way. Did I try him? Yes. So I guess we go for one with Free Free. He's temperamental, we've been there. Hussein. He seems balanced and well, this is not great, but whatever. He wants 95. Alright, we'll do the same here. Start with 50. 17 max. I said 70 max. Take it or leave it. He takes it. So much for scouting. So that would be 70 on each scout. We could also do with a coach, come to think of it. So let's have a look at that. And an assistant manager, to be fair. This all is not important here. We need coaching attributes. These are all rubbish. That said, I, th I think I looked into this last time. He's fairly ambitious and, uh, well, okay, the mentals are shit, but whatever. Let's just try. Yeah, he wants 190 euros a week. I cannot afford that. And I do not want to negotiate about it either. So, that's no good. I think we try to sign him too. We are literally, literally half-star coaching everywhere. We can pay up until 120. So we might go get a solution at some point, but I don't think we will. Um, we need to find stuff that is uh, willing to put up with our lack of money. And well, we spend it all on players. On players that aren't even worth it. So, I'm not sure what's going on there. Alright. One screaming woman come up right, coming up right now. Or whatever it is today. Feel free to let me know. By the way, feedback is appreciated. In case you you hate me including ad breaks like this, let me know. I need to find one way or another, and at least in this case you don't miss anything. Other than uh, me having a drink. Müller is going to Saudi Arabia, it seems, or whatever that was. Nobody of these players wants to find a new club. All right. So I guess we need to use that new feature. We will hire an intermediary to sell the player. All right, give me a second. He doesn't have an agent. So we will hire an intermediary. Cool. Nobody wants to buy him. So much for that. So I guess... It's the same here. Okay, get rid of that message. Nobody wants to buy any of those. Yeah, we are stuck with all of them. Well, he develops. 
Okay. Uh, that's not true. We didn't find on one. So, all of these players basically need to remain with the club. That's really, really bad. We could try to look into their attribute profiles and see if we can use them in one way or another. In his case, it's probably still going for pressing forward. But all of these players will be pissed for not playing at all. So, I guess I will go through these players here. Alright, this is not bad. So, but I think this is the one we play in defensive midfield now, yes, okay. So, he is, hell. He is to be a ball winning midfielder, it says, so I guess he can train like this. Why not? His decision making isn't that bad, it's mostly about the lack of strength and the lack of concentration and uh, bravery. So, bravery as well as heading, concentration we cannot focus on. I guess positioning and marking would be good though. We can always do positioning and marking. Alright. Him. He's transfer listed and listed for loan. Central midfielder on support. Seems reasonable. I, I think this is actually something that he can do. Decisions and composure, composure are really bad though, same as the off the ball movement. I guess we go with decisions and composure. Just have him pass the ball around and, well, what the hell is it? Final third training. There we go. Um, that said, they trained well. I like that. It's much appreciated. We do not use an advanced forward and well, I don't think we will. So, you can be pressing forward or you can be winger. Your choice. Given that he's left-footed and we do not have much options on the left, uh, left wing. I mean, he's really horrible there, though. We'll go pressing forward, why not? That's not better. Like, with these mantles, forget it. And um, it doesn't use his finishing anyway. Six points, eight points of heading. We'll put him on midfielder to the left and defensive winger on support duty. That's not what he's good at, but I don't care. Vahap. Cool. So. I guess Wahab can do defensive winger in that case. Good luck with that, sir. Him, he's no longer deep line playmaker. Ang Kung is central midfielder on attack. That's the most reasonable choice, I think, in the entire squad. Final third training still suits him just nicely. I guess of the ball movement as well as um, anticipation would actually be better, so we'll go with attacking movement on him. I actually think he can score from time to time with the long shots of 8, not that bad. Renang, we do not have poachers anymore, so no. Go train as a pressing forward, if you like it or not. Wow, his teamwork and his work rate are 1. Like, there's so many 1s here. I I cannot even imagine. Um, he's on defensive winger on support, that's correct. He, there is no normal winger anymore in this squad, let's go defensive winger instead. Mm. Decision making is fine, anticipation is bad.
I can't really can't really think of something, so I guess we go with uh, corner taking, given that he has six points in that. Maybe that helps. There, as I said, no advance forward available anymore. We need to shut up shop. That's not even that bad, is it? And, well, as an added bonus, we'll do some penalty taking. Where the hell is it? Alright. Um, this guy, sent, we played him as no-nonsense uh, center backs right now, so might as well do that. Um, also, strength and jumping reach are low, so I guess we focus on that. That's the worst about him so far. Choo-choo! Choo-choo! That seems like a reasonable choice. Crayer... I will never forget Crayer. <laughs> it's just, he, he had such a great start. With two own goals, it can only get better from here. What was his rating anyway? 6.1! 6.1 with two own goals. Well, he's on goalkeeper training and, well, his kicking is fine, his throwing isn't. One-on-ones are where? Reflexes are fine, doesn't need it. Positioning, communication and decisions. Uh, well, some of these are good and some of these are really bad. Uh, so that wouldn't be the worst idea. Handling, composure and technique. Well, he's shit in all of these, that's for sure. Sweeping? N not really. No, so I, I guess we go with handling, composure and technique. Because his handling is bad, his composure is bad, even though it doesn't say here that he needs it. And technique probably doesn't hurt. So we'll go with that. For him, he will have training once we signed him. This guy apparently is... right-footed. This guy apparently is also a pressing forward. Or... in case everybody gets injured. Same as... him. And both can do penalty taking on top of that or whatever. Doesn't matter much. Choo choo! Not to be confused with our ringer. This guy. Well, I have a hard time coming up with something. Yeah, you you said that, but um, I I think I I want to go with defensive roles. That's the thing. The the three one three one two. That would still it would use two of the strikers and, but I d I don't see for example the attacking midfielder in in this formation. I really don't see how we could use uh, utilize uh, the guy there. He has four points of passing. So. I don't know. Also, the midfielders are somewhat lackluster. Some of them are okay. Some aren't. Um, I just feel we would probably concede a lot with that formation. And I want to stop conceding first and foremost. So this is why I'm going for a 4-1-4-1 right now. Um, I will probably need to sign a few youngsters to do that though. I'm not sure. To be honest, it might be a bad idea. Like, um, you, you can go on, and, uh, go on and tell me I told you so. I'm okay with that. So, what to do with this guy? I think some strength probably doesn't hurt. Raman. This goalkeeper has no anticipation, no, but we, we can just go with kicking and... Where's command of area, anyway? Reflexes, anticipation... His reflexes are fine. Yeah, but this, this is what I'm looking for right now. Um, there, but we have like everybody in Malaysia on trial that we know of so far. Um, player base will be expanded uh, once we have another scout, and this is under like um, amongst other things. 
Um, this is due to the fact that I cancelled the scouting uh, contract. The, the contract for scouting network. So I have no idea about the players anymore because we cannot afford it. I might do it for another month. So... Where's one-on-ones? Together with command of area and rushing out. Which... He does like to do anyway. I think like we'll go with kicking and throwing. Plain and simple. He's really rubbish at that. Do we play fullbacks on defend? Let's just how we do. Hmm. Maybe. So we'll try to do that. Does he need specific training? I, I, I guess long throws, maybe. Given that he will probably take them, he's forced to be uh, to to uh, he'll be forced to take them. That's it. And this, well, this will probably do. So we'll go with penalty taking here. He's not a bad penalty taker. Well, he is a tolerable penalty taker. All right. I really wanted to get rid of some of these players, but apparently we can't. That's really bad. I'll do a micro break. Um, gotta go to the kitchen for a second. BRB. Okay, okay, okay. Back to the... Is there an equivalent uh, for, for the German word Gurkentruppe, actually? Let me have a look. The really important things, obviously. Well, it says cu Cucumber Troop, but I think... That that doesn't have the same meaning in English, I guess. Is there like a like a an English word for a troop of um, people that um, are no good at what they do, implying rubbish, preferably with a vegetable in the in the phrasing. No. <laughs> What kind of language is this? Okay, so we sign him for an, uh, for an appearance fee of 35 euros. This is probably more to the standard of our play. Yeah, it's, it's fine, man. <laughs> it's all right. I'm, I'm always trying to come up with some, uh, some stuff uh, that I can learn. And usually it's very specific words, even though I, I guess vocabulary uh, could probably be expanded uh, in a more uh, reasonable manner. But for some reason, I always come up with the specific stuff. Also, um, I, I guess uh, most of the watchers helped me, uh, helped me out repeatedly. So, now we first and foremost, we need to have a look at this resolute player. He's probably really bad, but at least his personality is fine. So, if there's any potential at all in him, we will be okay. He will probably be better than what we have right now, which is zero. Yeah. Holy crap, he has nine points of crossing. And five points of tackling, which is better than what we have. So I, I guess that counts. Shit. 
Sure, welcome to the senior squad. You have gotten promoted. Also, his defending is really bad. Ouch. Decision making's fine though. We will put him on stamina training. Consistent performer with resolute characteristics. He will probably not be really good in this club. On the other hand, he might be good enough for the next club. So we, we will sign him next time, if he develops at all, that is. Now we need replacements for all of these. Uh, cool. Um, we could do with a left winger, by the way. Um, let's have a look in the under-21s. Do we know anything about these players at this point? That's the first one I could have picked, right? That central defender is not good. His, his mentals and stuff are fine, but otherwise... Not really. So what's the most important role in this squad? That is lackluster. At best. Ball winning midfielder probably, right? This is the core role. We need Sukipto. Given that Sukipto is not available in Malaysia, we might ask the director of football. Maybe he knows of somebody. Please. Anyone? He's with us already. What? Oh. W what? Part-time contract for 200 euros? Where the hell is this guy? I don't get it. No, this is, this is Saravak. This is not our... I'm confused. Saravak is not to be conf uh, not to be confused with Saravak United FC. What? How did we come up with this? So I can still offer him a trial. That's another club. Apparently there's another club named Saravak that for some reason has really similar kit colors and a really similar icon in 4th league. But we are definitely a rival. What the hell did they do to this database? This is the default database, by the way. I didn't do anything to this thing. This is a fourth league club. And there is the local rival, which is us. With more or less the same icon. More or less the same kit colors. One's named the Crocs. And the other one's named the Golden Hornbill. I... I need to go look up the history of this club now. Okay, so apparently Yeah, it seems like a breakaway team. Um, apparently they are it, it says here Saravak United FC under history in Wikipedia. I'll just link here There we go It says here that they were Founded in 1974, which is the normal Saravak. In 
and in 2019 the club was bought over by the FAS and a new owner subsequently renamed the club again, like for the third time, to Sarawak United. So we are a sugar daddy's club? What's the FAS? Huh. Well, first and foremost, we have the wrong icon, by the way. So some somebody used to uh, used the wrong icon for this, which is perfect. We will bring him in anyway. Um, this is interesting. So given that this these guys uh, still like they live in the city, we might as well poach some players from them, right? if we had any knowledge of any of these players. But we could use a defensive midfielder. He's under contract. Sadly, no trial offer available. This is sad. Alright. Let's keep going. There's uh, 21 trials finishing here too. So... <laughs> and 45 over there. <laughs> we we might have slightly exceeded the 30 players trial limit for some reason. Cannot think of anything. Do we want first team players in the under 21s match? No, this yeah, this is the under 21s match. Yeah, sure. Sure. We want them there. Like Everyone that does not have sharpness. So basically everyone. 45 minutes should be enough. Here you go, have fun. They offered, they, like they accepted the, the, the offer for the trial. This is not a horrible player, I guess. 200 euros per week, though, is damn expensive. So maybe we can loan him for cheap until the end of the season. He would be very interested in the loan in a loan too. How about you pay the wages and we loan him in? That would be fantastic. That said, he's not that great. So maybe maybe he's not well suited for the role or whatever. Seems like he has reasonable passing though. I think that's not a bad idea. The player exchange. Problem is, they probably don't want to. That's it. He would be less of a defensive midfielder in the setup anyway, right? Looking at this, he's basically the central midfielder on attack. That's a replacement for somebody we already have. I am not opposed to the idea of loaning him in. It clearly says here. Um, like, I, I do not agree with the role. With the Mitsala thing. But in comparison to Ankun. What the hell was his name? Yeah. He's, he's worse than Ankun. But I think... Well, okay, he's really worse. Like, way worse. We are central midfield on attack. There we go. Way, way worse. 
That said, we do not really have a replacement for Ankun, and if we can get him in on loan, or zero, that would still be better than nothing. And it's just for the end of the, like, for until the end of the season. They don't want him to leave. Well... I think we'll go with Impact Sub here, maybe he can live with that. And we will not offer any money. I just hope that the player will become unhappy if they don't uh, let him leave. Or... Oh, it's about a future fee. We'll make an offer anyway. Maybe he complains. And then there's press speculation. Not sure if we will be able to work something out. We will probably also play some sort of uh, some sort of div uh, midfielder here in midfield. Yeah, some some sort of some sort of poacher here in midfield. Hell, one of them is any of those capable of playing a pass. Not really. Nope, they didn't. I'm trying to go forward um, slowly and steadily. They didn't yet. Maybe, maybe that's that's them. See, you called it. There's our scout. Hopefully, he comes with four really good recommendations. Let's see. Ask to recommend signing. Also, he needs... We can end this one. Well, some of these players actually train well. In particular, this one. That's not bad. Much appreciated, man. Um, so we have a scout. Let's have a look at the scouting assignments. Cool. Can we add anything here? No. Uh, how does this go again? The, the scouting menu is still new to me. To increase tactical familiarity, that's not a bad idea, actually. So that would give some sharpness to the under-21 trialists, too. That is a good idea. Because, well, most of these are youngsters. I think the under... Actually, the under-19s contain more. But we'll, we can play the under-21s. Oh, why not? It makes sense. And obviously we'll do it on Sunday. Given that we train on Saturday. So we'll do a friendly here. Hell, we could do a friendly against... What? We can actually earn money here. Are you sure you want to do... Like, would you be okay with playing a friendly against somebody that actually brings money into the stadium? <laughs> we won't do that. I, I will not risk 26k that we don't have. We love the 30 euros, we can afford that. Yeah, definitely the 30 euros option. So we will play Sama Rahan. On Sunday. At home. And then, the week afterwards, we can probably use another friendly. We're also affiliated with a club? We are a... One, one moment, we have an affiliate? What? Sure, I... That makes sense. 
So we are the senior affiliate of Sarawak. And we share the training facilities. Players may move freely between Sarawak United and Sarawak. We can send players to Sarawak on loan. That makes sense. A link between Sarawak United and Sarawak is seen as an ideal way to have help Sarawak in their efforts to win promotion. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this means we have access to access to their no, they have access to our squad. That's how it works. And apparently they play um Pay them just as we pay ours. Yeah, I thought so too. But let's not forget about this. So can we... <laughs> we can play them. So this includes scouting of their players, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I might be able to. And uh, they might even pay the wages. So that would be really great. Um... Obviously destroying their budget, but what do I care? Um, but we might also play them, and apparently this would net us about 10k, because they are local rivals. So, why the hell wouldn't we? Cheat code enabled, we'll do this. And we will also try to send one of the strikers out on loan immediately. Like... This one trains well, though. We'll send him. Whatever. Move to affiliate Sarava. Here it is. Please tell me they pay the wages. Until the end of the season. He can play against the own team, sure. I don't care which role, really. We will send him there. Yeah, true. But I don't consider this an exploit. Not yet. I consider this a way to offload players for a thousand euros a week. So we will definitely do that. This will earn us some money. See, this is easier than Yiddo Hockdals. At Yiddo Hockdals we, lo we lost money whilst doing friendlies. So, this is better. Also, we cheated ourselves into an additional match focus session here. So, that's not bad either. It's just the way FM works. Great. Coaching Edward. So, I will introduce you to our current coaching standards. This is our current standard of coaching. As you can see, it's really exciting, and that half-star rating is derived from some knucklehead named Nils Ramang. Apparently, he knows jack shit about football. So, that's the way it is right now. Seen from that perspective, we need a specific coach in a specific area that can improve this a little bit. Doesn't matter much which one it is. Preferably, the coach would need to be cheap. And, well, if he comes with good mentals like this guy, that would be fine too. So, the question is, how much do we want to pay? He wants 100 euros per week. That's actually not that bad. Not sure about the others. Um, let's look into the others first. Maybe one of those is really great. Not so much. That's the one we just opened. He's unambitious, but his determination is great. The thing is, unambitious is really bad. Don't like that. Also, uh, coaching skills were not that impressive. He's okay-ish. Same as him. So I will open this guy up just for a second. Contract negotiations with him. He wants 100 euros too. All right. So we will start with his uh, contract negotiations and skip the others in case we can sign him. 
Um, I prefer a fairly professional coach. This is also... That's 25 points of mantles, that's not too bad. So he can do tactical or technical attacking coaching, or both. That would probably put it up to one star at least. Alright. For five months he wants 100, so we will not start out with 50. Uh, last time out they wanted, what, 90? We started with 50 and we managed to close on 70. So we'll start with 60 and try to close on 80? Okay. Yeah, we'll close on 80. We, we might be able to pull off 75. I, yeah, I'm kind of torn. Every euro counts. Fuck five euros a week. We'll we'll go with spending money this time. I don't have the time. That's just a case of oh, I cannot afford to lose this guy right now. We need him. There is also an opportunity to sign a sec assign a second coach, I guess. The question is, do we need an assistant manager? Don't think so. Well, I, I do think we need an assistant manager, but not one from the coaching table here. Um, we will set up a specific... What? Oh yeah, we have a friendly coming up. I will not do that. And some of them are with the under 21, so maybe we need to replace them. Uh, all of this stuff is not great either. Come to think of it, gosh, I should probably have configured that. You should have told me. <laughs> it's all of your fault. No, it's my fault, obviously. Uh, cool. So... We do not have good passers. Passing is 7, passing is 4, pass his passing is 10. Seen from that perspective... Their crossing is tolerable, actually. His isn't. His is fine. No, it's... it's, it's I, I will do it now. Um, so, we'll go with a slightly lower tempo due to defensive formation. We'll go with slightly shorter passing, but just to retain possession. With some time wasting, well, we can keep that... I, I guess we can keep it on in default. Um... I do not have an emphasis on uh, the crossing, other than probably not, probably not fro floated crosses, come to think of it. His anticipation and off the ball movement are decent, decision making is fine too, mobility is fine too, balance is a bit off. Um, so assuming we do it like that, shall we try whip crosses? We'll try whip crosses as a default. To give them some pace. In transition, I want them to regroup. I want them to counter though. And, well, I guess we will roll the ball out. And out of possession, we will go with a higher defensive line and much higher defensive line and a high press. We will also trigger the press more often. Do they have any worth work ethic at all? They... Well, the striker doesn't. The rest of them, this is actually okay, and this is not. There seems to be some work rate on some of the players. We will just try. Uh... Get stuck in is probably overdoing it. We will step up more in case there's... We will try, try to compress as much as possible. And maybe go with a higher defensive line, not, not much higher. I don't care much about the pressing trap. Neither about the, about the cross engagement so far. I don't know yet. Uh, okay. And now we can bring along basically the rest. I'll see. Oh, 
Oh yeah, he's under contract bid by us, that's true. Uh, so we can put all of these on the bench. For now. And for next time, well, those not. So these two, let me guess. No, they are somewhere else. They are not with our affiliate club. And we loaned them out and the wages get paid by them, so that's alright. Still. Uh, we would need to come up with some, uh, some replacement here. We play, we play another club. So... We'll probably not bring along yet another poacher. But these three? So, a winger, say a fullback, and these three. That will probably do. We'll bring them along. Whoever you are, welcome to a trial game, I guess. Okay, um... And given that we want to control play, I guess we go for set pieces too. This is my standard tactic now. For now. Oh yeah, he wanted a contract. Sure, but we, we got one already, thank you very much. And I wanted to set up um, an ad. Or an assistant manager. We need that too. Like if this earn if this really earns 10k, we will play them every single day. This is a way to make some reasonable money. It will stretch the season forever, but who cares? Oh. It will end tomorrow. Okay. All right. Let's not make some decisions on these because apparently we do not have all of the uh, information available. That's it. He's considered to be somewhat around the skill level of Nunging Dung. His personality isn't great though. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that too. Okay. Let's do it one by one. First of all, the assistant manager stuff. So we're going to set up an ad. Where is it? Place ad, coaching. We already have one for the assistant manager. I guess we can go with head of youth development too. We need one too. Um, we do not need a chief scout and a second scout is on the way. We do not need a head physio. In fact, I want a sports scientist here. So I want to add a sports scientist in here. Thank you very much. All right, next one. Scouting. We will look into these in a second. These are also with Saravak. Looks like we found out about some of the players from them. That's not bad. Can't afford it. But that's not bad. He goes to the shortlist for now. Alright, you wanted me to set up a player, like a filter. Where is it? Players in range. Let's clear this for a second. You wanted me to go for, what was it? Uh, six foot and over? So what, what's that in non-freedom units? Uh, where's player size? No, 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 no. It's height. Oh, fucking hell. It's called height. And obviously, we want somebody that is somewhat tall. So, say a meter 90. And a striker. Oh. 
this. Something like this. There's two options for that. One is a 16 year old that I might just have signed recently. And the other one is Mr. Maslan, who is a trialist. Fairly susceptible to injuries, sadly. With no strength whatsoever. We can go into a similar argument about the central defenders though. So let's reduce this to a meter 80. That's more options. Uh, yeah, all of them are on trial with us. No surprises there. Okay, so given that we have all of them on trial anyway, um, I'll remove this for a second. Let's look into the central defenders too. It's similar here. So all of these will come up. And setting up the specific filter doesn't help because um, basically all the players we know of are on trial with us anyway. So we'll look through the trial um, like notices now, um, the messages, and please um, in, just have a look with me um, in case we find anything. So we also need to look at uh, their um, their hate or jumping reach or whatever. So he's small. Technique and tackling seem reasonable. Pace is all right. I would like to extend the, uh, the trial, but that's not an option, it seems. He's fairly susceptible to injury, though. So um, yes, I know it's only for one season. For half a season, actually. But I think I'll take a pass. For now. Zaim, Zarin, Navi. This is a tongue breaker for me. He is better. Medical report says below average susceptibility to injury. His tackling is okay. Acceleration and pace are fine. The rest of his attributes is shit, with the exception of the crossing. So I'm not gonna argue that this is a great signing. But we do not have a second left back. And he can always go down on the under 21, so we can loan him out. Also, we will probably sign him on a non contract anyway, given the skill level. So, assuming we sign him on a non contract, we will be able to part ways with him. And, well, consistent performers, I. Very much uh, learned to appreciate these in the last save. So we'll go with that. He is okay with being a youngster. And this is, we, we just need to reduce the amount of money here a little bit. You know, you're not that good. We go with this. You will love it. Thank you very much. It might be. It might be. But assuming that he... Well, like, I don't know about the training. Um, You're right, of course. He might be consistently horrible, but at least that will be a consistent 6.2. Uh, reminds me of Arianto a little bit um, in the last save. Arianto was never great. But he was reliable in... And like being on the pitch and being reliably on between a 6.2 and a 6.8. That wasn't great, but at least he was never on a 5. So I guess I learned to appreciate that in a way. Also, for some reason, we can go down with this now. Oh. So the limit was 35, and he does not care about this, does he? He doesn't. See, 35 euros per match. I think we can make some additional signings like this. Alright, what about this guy? He's... more capable, is he? What did I just do? 
to be fair, he's slower. But also, so I, we will drop him to the under-21s, and this one, uh, I guess he can come along too. Oh, he's under contract. Never mind, he's under contract. Doesn't make sense. So we will let him leave. I will not offer money for him. Idol Mustafa Robert does not fit the way we play right now, and I cannot retrain another player. I just don't want to. Also a consistent performer, apparently. Great. Mood... I will not pronounce this. This is... Tolerable somewhat, but not great. We need a second left back. That said, um, he doesn't have much going for himself. Joe Hardy. That's... Like he's fast and that's it. Hmm. This guy's name is so horrible, obviously I need to sign him, so I don't. This one has one point of jumping reach and one point of strength. This is exactly what we were looking for, right? We might play him as a poacher. Not going there. Sub, he... First touch is fine. Still wing back. He... Is somewhat used to playing as a left back, that said. Susceptible to injury, very inconsistent. Bully, we know nothing about this guy. Doesn't seem reasonable. He's a 15 year old. An unambitious 15 year old at that. That has really great finishing for some reason. He's 1 meter 70. So I guess that begs the question, will he grow? We do not have an under-18 team. I would prefer good personalities in the under-18 team though. Work rate and teamwork are fine on the other hand. He's unflappable. I do not think we can, um, I, I don't think we can give youth contracts. If we give him a contract as a youngster, See, we can't do that. What we can do, though... Cool. We'll force him into not being paid. After getting out of a of contract. I'll just try that. Might not work. So, um, you know, random, random accidents happen. There we go. Give have team. Next. Mood Hafizal Iskandar, not to be confused with the Iskandar that we haven't uh, had in Indonesia with PSIS. Uh, I think this is a similar problem. We just don't know yet, he's way too young, but we do not have a youth team. So we might as well sign all of the trash. Why not? We'll go with youngster too. And we won't pay him at all. For some reason he wants to be paid per match. I do not think we can do that. Sorry, man. Here you go. Thank you very much for coming along. Khalid. They, they are basically getting paid in hopes and dreams. And for some reason we will sign a, an additional 15 poachers. They are in a youth contract prior to that, though, so... I don't know, it's probably still worth, worth the investment. We do have uh, under 18 coaching, to a degree. This one wants more money. And, well, I think he will not like the fact that I do not want to pay him money. We are nearly there, he says, well, in that case. Go. He accepts. Fantastic. I'm done. 16 year old. For some reason, yet another striker. Low determination. Why not? We can retrain all of these. I'm sure it will not matter. And it won't work much. But it's better than not having options. That can go away. Here we go. This is what we're going for. Thank you. Use of Azmi. He can play two positions. 
well, for various interpretations of Ken. He wants to be youngster for some reason, and he does not want money. Um, Matt, yet another poacher. 1 meter 69. It's kind of weird that all of these are strikers. I expect there to be some other players too. Who knows? This one's fairly loyal. Great. We'll, we will put all of the, of the bad personalities into a trash personalities mentoring group down there. No, you will not get paid. Oh, he doesn't like that. Okay, cool. So apparently he wants money. Something. Is he that good? No, not really. Don't think so. Amtsat Saini. <laughs> they paid the money though, for some reason, and I have no idea why. Because apparently there's a bunch of 16 year olds here that are basically on the same level and they pay them 180 euros. I have no idea why. Like, in, in this case though, I can see why he wants to be paid. Let me put it like that. This is not that bad. Physicals could do with some improvement and he's really small. Like, this, this is probably as much in terms of jumping reach as he will ever get. On the other hand, we're talking about a 16-year-old with decent off-the-ball movement, anticipation, composure. That's actually fine. I'm kind of okay with this. Wouldn't say he's a good prospect. Yeah, some, something like this, yes. Uh, his passing is 5 only. But his teamwork and work rate are really great. Stamina is fine. Physicals overall will probably improve a little bit. For a smallish box to box, that m maybe a meter 65 at some point. Whatever that is in, in fit. Uh, sorry. But the flair is fine, leadership is fine. Mentals will probably only go up. That's not horrible. So, I expect him to want serious money there. I will probably need to, to offer him, I don't know, 35 euros or something. Apparently this is so close. Alright. Now, you really do not want the unused substitute fee, do you? And neither the gold bonus, you don't care. You only want an appearance fee, probably. Yeah. This is fine, though. I can live with that. This one is a mercenary. No friggin' way. He's not even that good. And then there's... Glorious. He's also unambitious and has two points of strength. But this is what we were looking for, right? Somebody with decent bravery, heading and jumping reach. Apparently the new Jorge Cesar is named Sainudin. That said, he will need another 15 years to grow into the, uh, the boots. Still want him. Also, we want his personality to change. Okay, sir. You can have 15 euros. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> we'll give him 45. And now we need to renegotiate this deal. This is way too much money. We cannot afford this.
He will insist on 35. Yeah, of course he does. Yeah, the fifth development search has been started. Fine. We will get to the match today, even though it's the, just a friendly. There's an agreement for the second scouting spot. There we go. Please tell me you have information about this or that. So, they do not like the fact that we want to add a sports scientist. I think we'll discuss this with the board. The number of sports scientists right now is zero and they are happy with it. And these? There's a clause? Oh, of course! This is an affiliate club, so we can sign their players for free. Because the affiliate agreement states that we can sign... Well, the, the players can move freely between the two clubs. This is how it works. So... We might just go in there and sign their players. I will cancel this, actually. I do not think we need him right now. I think we need to look into uh, into their players, though. Not these ones. Into the players of our affiliate club. Where is it again? Club information, affiliates. Can we scout these? Where is the get scout report menu? Lol. Your board will not allow you to scout this team as they feel it would be too expensive for the club. Yeah, <laughs> this is about right. <laughs> it's within the same stadium, but scouting them is too expensive. Okay. We will just need to play friendlies against him. Also, we will have like 15 youngsters in this club. So, whatever happens, we might play one of these. He stopped his finger catching the ball. Cool. The under-21s apparently played and, uh, well, they won. So now they have a whole day to recover from their 45 minutes of football. To play Sama, Ranga, whatever. That's a save. Cool. In in a way, this gives us a preseason. Transfer window still open until when? Transfer window closes. That's a long while. Season's basically season's more or less over. How many met? This this is on the Wednesday the ninth. What? 9th of July? Okay. So at the 9th of July, the transfer window closes. No. 9th of July was today. This is somewhere in August, I think. So, there will be... I don't know, 5, 6, 7 matches afterwards. It's not that much. We basically play half of the season with the transfer window open. I'm really hoping that we can uh, loan the that we can loan the poacher to our affiliate club though, and that they pay his wages. 
That would be fantastic. I will offload all of them. There's a suggestion for the under-19 match. Sure, you can play there. And apparently playing in a league doesn't pull people into the stadium. But playing random ass friendlies, at least uh, that's a projection, does. So I guess we need to do that to earn money. Might also give us an option to get some sharpness. That's not too bad either. Assuming the others had a... Oh, there's 45 trials coming up and finish. <laughs> Assuming the others... Um, We picked a sugar daddy club. I guess I'm fine with that. So the board have injected 45k to help with the club's running costs. Cool. That resolves the financial situation too. It's, I, I, I... I don't know. It says here, we should sign this guy, who is on trial with us anyway, due to the lack of death. Yeah, that's great, but I'm not gonna go there yet. He... is definitely better than what we have. As a fullback on defend, Let's compare this guy for a second to his Mavi exactly. This one. Yeah, that's the correct player. Assuming we're looking for a fullback on defend. I think so, yes. This is fine. So, given that he can, they can move freely, we just need to sign him for less than 170 euros. And he is considered to be a consistent performer. We need a right back, a reasonable one. This one's also banned, by the way, so we need him for next match. He's banned for one match only, still. So we need a replacement there anyway. So we'll make an offer for him to move right now for free. They need to accept that. They do. And he will probably be interested in moving. Great. And then there's a 32 year old experienced striker who is also recommended, highly recommended, I might add. Uh. Yeah, not sure if we need yet another poacher. It says here he's an excellent signing. I think I'll take a pass for now. That said, recommendations are basically our, our own feeder club. That's really interesting. Also, apparently now we have money. For now. He's very interested in... He doesn't even expect wages. Seriously? Don't tell me. He expects to be promised to be a regular starter. I can live with that. So... Say we put him on squad player instead. No other promises required. The entire squad consists of, like, 50% of the squad is random-ass poachers that get paid 180 or 190 euros per week. And this guy comes in and wants a non-contract, being one of the more reasonable options 
in the squad. The entire wage structure can go out of the window. We'll play him 120. He will probably agree to this, won't he? Yes. He just left his contract for 170 euros to come over and get paid per game. Okay. Currently 120 is what he wants. Given that he is a regular squad player, would he be a... Would you agree to reducing the unused substitute fee? Apparently not. And then last but not least, I don't think you need a bonus for not conceding. That's just something we do. I can't believe it. Cool. So, let's go there. Uh, for next match only, I do not think I will do anything in particular. We know absolutely nothing about the opposition, because I forgot to set up a... Some sort of a thing. Given that I will not do anything. We'll just go here. Scouting. Uh, where's the assignments? That's not what I'm looking for. I do not want a recruitment focus either. I'm looking for team report priorities. No, where is it? I want to set up a... Uh, there it is. This is like, it's, it's in the last menu that I'm looking for. So, we will send out Kamal. And we do not have an analyst. We will send out Kamal for the next opposition always. And... We will create a recruitment focus for... Any position from the tactic, we will name it all, that's fine. That's all fine too. And we will give it to Hussein though. We still do not have an analyst, so that's okay. That's also alright. Areas any, well, um, we can scout and hope a whopping hole of uh, Malaysia probably. Or not even there. So, still looking for that. And... World knowledge doesn't look that bad. If we look at the nation level though, it's basically Malaysia only. Cannot even see it on the map. Fantastic. Fine. It's not highlighted, whatever. Where were we? Here. So, we'll play them, and then we'll see. And we'll get rid of all of the lone listings and stuff, and we will just uh, push them to the feeder club. No reaction noted. Cool. Anyone wants to take a bet? This is a smaller team, and we are trying to play an aggressive defensive setup. This is what we're going for right now. Okay. I think I raise expectations here. Nobody cares. Nobody's nervous either. New formation. New players. At least some cared, it seems. This is our stadium. Forty K all seeder it seems. And apparently we are expected to earn two K on this with zero supporters in here. It's a hundred ten people in here. There's sounds. A hundred ten, okay. 
Seems like we press up, uh, press high up on the pitch, so that's true. And the ball winning midfielder closes down too much already. And there comes the first cross, cross of the match. Not bad. There's our fullback. I think we can encourage in this situation. Maybe they can score. Okay. He gestured towards the empty stands. I can't agree. There's nobody there. This is not good. I would be horrified too as a player. That's probably offside, isn't it? It isn't. Both Choo Choo's on the pitch. There's an interesting cross. Uh, well, it's something. Interesting ball distribution. Carrier on Kuhn, Choo Choo. Choo Choo skips past his man, that's an early cross, and well, we get a corner. So, I guess we're okay with that. <laughs> I really want this Choo Choo guy to perform. Not bad. Wow. Choo Choo again. Oh, he doesn't take the shot. Now he does. So far, this looks reasonable. Interesting and well defended. Choo Choo is on his own. Which, <laughs> which one ever that is. That got intercepted though. Twice. By different players. In different teams. That's the winger Choo Choo guy. Come on. Skip past your man. He doesn't. Ankun. Rumbly. And that's. Into the back of the other Choo Choo. One of the two needs a nickname. A short one, please. I will not call another player Mr. Cake Grenade or whatever it was. Choo choo, there's the cross. Yeah, well, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's really inspiring, Tedong. I couldn't have come up with that. Train. The more pacey one. I don't know. Mr. Choo Choo. <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> Maybe we'll come up with better ideas though. So, so far they didn't have a chance. They had a corner. Right now, but not much else. Tiny... That's for the keeper. So, I'm kind of happy with the defending so far. Not so much with the ball distribution though. Scratch that, this was a fine pass. Rumley... Choo-choo. Choo choo! Oof. On the other hand, I should probably keep the names just to say choo choo all the time. <laughs> it's probably pronounced kushu or something. We do have chances. I like that. Isn't there like a popular popular series, TV series, web series, or something with a with a with a train? Thomas, is it Thomas the Train? I never watched any of this, obviously. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm from Germany. We don't have that over here. But I think there was something like this. So 
this is what memes, what memes do to me. I, I, I feel like I have knowledge about this even though I don't know the series. Thomas the Train is a kid's show. Though one of the two might be called Thomas. Plain and simple. That's really boring though. Ah! Oh, hits the post! Interesting. And the ball winning midfielder's job so far is fine. Ding dong, choo choo. That long ball was rubbish. <laughs> Tommy Choo Choo and Mr. Choo Choo. To be fair, only one of the two needs a nickname, but we could also do both, obviously. Rumley doesn't see any opportunity to pass. And now he loses the ball? He doesn't. That's reasonable. That's a defender, by the way. That cross was shitty, as was this one. Tommy Choo Choo and Mr. Choo Choo. Thomas the Tank Engine. Wow. Thomas Chong. <laughs> we don't need to go with Thomas. <laughs> The, the thing is, Mr. Choo Choo is, um, like, like it's a little bit long. Maybe we'll come up with something. Re remember back with, um, I, I still think uh, from a nickname perspective, Speedy Boy was, um, easier to pronounce, for example, and to uh, keep hold of, um, than... Uh, Mr. Cake Grenade. And that has nothing to do with the person that gave the names. Um, just to put that out there. Cheese Choo Choo? Are you kidding me? Y you want me to stumble over this all the time, right? If one of the two were to be a striker, I could, I could name him the tank. That would be fine. Tank is damn short. That said, none of the two is a tank. Well, we could argue one of the two could be a tank. We'll just put him on strength training all the time. That was a shitty pass. <laughs> it's not a goal. <laughs> nice finish by Choo Choo Do. Uh, we will name him the Trans Siberian Express. I don't think so. <laughs> That's it, at least uh, performance so far is fine. I'm okay with this. Good. Let's add a gold score, and then I'm okay with this overall. Yeah, well, but do we do we want to have a two-word thing as a nickname? On the other hand, I think there was there was a, a defender, a German one. Who was it? That day he he played in England, and they named him the Berlin Wall, which. Like he, he, he. Euro Eurostar, the Eurostar on the Trans Rapid. Well, I don't know. M maybe we will get some inspiration from their attributes. Let's have a look. So, we know that one of the two Choo Choo's, the midfielder, well, they are both midfielders. The one that just played that pass, he's a really shitty passer. He has good vision, though.
So we could give him a name that is somewhat ironic. I don't know. Sniper. Please hit the back of the net. He doesn't. We'll come up with something. And if not, I will just give them their first names. That's obviously a very boring and easy choice. Also, both of their first names start with an A, so that doesn't help much. Chuchu <laughs> Kashu. Their last name is basically good enough, I think. It's just a problem that there's two of them. Nice pass. Ancun, Rumley... And... He took a while to... No, no. There's enough imaginary things in my life. Finally! Romario Rizal. I guess, like, like, Steam is nice. I, I thought about Steam Roller or something. Previously. Obviously that's something different. And, well, doesn't really fit their attributes, does it? He's 1 meter 69 and has no strength whatsoever, so Steamroller seems fitting. The other one's not much better. True. True. And we, we can give the other one... Well, either we keep the choo-choo name for the other one, or we give him a name that um, is derived from some sort of uh, famous train. Like, Chernobyl had a lot of recommendations here. But, to be honest, like, if I rename him Thomas Chong or something... Or, I don't know, even though he just only Mr. Choo Choo, I might as well keep him as, uh, as A. Choo Choo. We can also, we can also just go with Choo Choo with two O's each. Like... Plain and, plain and simple, just choo choo. And the other ones is called uh, other one is called Steamroller. Okay. I think this was good enough. We are we are up by one goal, right? Positive emotions. I know they are not used to this. Is there anything that does that does steamy like hissing sounds in the animal kingdom, I guess? Hmm. I guess Tommy seems like a reasonable choice to me. This is, this is absurdly bad, so footballers would obviously do that. And we can we can easily name one of the two Tommy. The younger one, I guess. That's not bad. Is Mavi trying to commit forward? Ooh, what a nice pass. That's a really shitty finish, sadly. But it was great overall. Do I, I don't need to encourage them anymore, do I? They have a reasonable rating here. Do I want to train him? Uh, <laughs> well, I do want to train them. Do I want to praise them, though? 
I also feel like the fullbacks commit a lot uh, forward. Might be dangerous. Rizal. Is Rizal. Rizal is the fullback, isn't he? Former fullback. This is also very much unhelpful. This. Drizzle is the former fullback. First match as a winger. That's nice passing. Oh. Also, um, so um, you. I don't know, you might not appreciate, um, but I just remembered something. Um, the reason why I wanted to play a 4-1-4-1 is also that this should help with defending um, from a formation perspective, if that makes sense. Um, I didn't go into detail about this um, earlier, but I expect to play a lot, uh, to, to play against a lot of 4-4-2s. And the additional defender, the additional defensive midfielder, should probably help to cover the holes in midfield. I don't care much about scoring that much. Um, also, I think one striker can still absolutely um, have a chance to, uh, to score here. Being faced with two central defenders. As long as their positioning is off like this. Oh, it's not yet. Will there be a reasonable cross or something? Doesn't look like it. That's not bad. Rizal with the second goal of the match. Now, if only this were to be a league match. Sadly, this is against a non-league team, I think. Now we can start praising there. This is fine. And the cross was nice, too. He has some experience with that. I'm kind of confused that Rizal scored twice, though. Everybody loves being praised. This is the first time they got... <laughs> and this is a great kickoff, by the way. <laughs> yeah, most likely, yes. We should probably take some of the players off, though. And sub somebody else on. Just to make sure they don't get injured. Okay, so what's available? Well, um, this guy's tired anyway, so we can bring on the complacent trialist, why not? We'll do that. The other ones, they seem to be fine. He's on a yellow as a ball winning midfielder. Given that we do not have that many midfielders, I guess we can bring on Hussein to do that job now. Six points of tackling, he should be fine. That's okay. And, um, Asman Choo Choo. Who will have one nickname or the other next time. Will need to come off probably. I guess for him. He's not bad either. Let's bring him in. The other ones, well, I, I don't care much about the strikers. They don't need to play. He's complacent. So we will encourage the other two and he will tell him that... He I expect a performance. He doesn't care. Neither do they. To be fair, my motivating is really bad. So, why would they? And now we play with a complacent defender. Fantastic. Really? Nice save. One of ours or one of theirs? I can't seem to find it. It's... has none. Well, he has his nickname now. So we'll, we'll stick to Asman. But 
You you can hear that however you want. Let's praise the team once more. Hope that they will carry this through the rest of the match. Mustafa, nice save, and that's uh, we still can see the goal. It's offside. Yes. <sighs> we can use that offside situation. That's not bad. It was offside. Neki Lang, that's an interesting way to take a free kick. Hell! Rizal might have scored a third. I'm confused what's going on with him. Apparently he really wants to be winger. This is well intercepted by his Mavi. Sadly he's just a reasonable defender and not a good passer. Ankung's vision is fine, the pass is shitty and that's bad. Choo choo. It's just a corner. <laughs> Naki Lung, that's not bad. Rumley, oh, why did you try to control the ball? Just knock it towards goal. Choo Choo again. Choo Choo takes the shot. Didn't expect that. And uh, now we have 10 minutes to go. We can sub on some poachers, I guess. So let's do that. Let's sub on some random poachers. Also, this guy for Choo Choo. Uh, Vahab seems to be tired, so we don't need him right now. I don't know who that is. Might as well use him for Ankung, though. And, well, for the rest of them, I, ga I guess we go with another random poacher. Is there a left-footed one? This one. There you go, you can replace Rizal at this point. Uh, cool. The rest will be, uh, well, he will be annoyed. No, he looks happy. Okay, cool. Um, Rizal will be annoyed being taken off after um, nearly scoring a hat-trick, but whatever. Mohammad that hit the ball. They have made a substitution too. Okay. Well, first of all, let's just make sure these five minutes end favorable. It's not bad. Come to think of it, we can probably waste a little more time here. I know it's a friendly, but who cares, it might impact morale. <laughs> Interesting. Neki Lung, that's bad. Pick it up, or take the free kick. No, yeah, not a free kick to throw in. Man, I'm confused. Mohammad Kalam, that cross goes nowhere. Or it does. Um, I kind of like the way the ball bounces around most of the time now. It's it's a bit excessive, if that makes sense. But maybe that's just the difference to FM23. That said, um, the fact that they knock the ball, for example, on the pitch to um, end up in the back of the net or something like this, I really appreciate that. That's not bad. Neither is this pass, by the way. Separate talk. Wow! Not bad! So, Kalam as well as Separate talk actually want to play. Problem is, both of these are poachers, aren't they? Might be that one of the two is a midfielder, who knows. Yeah, he plays as a midfielder at least. But overall, 3-0.
Later on, everybody will say this was expected, but really, uh, given that we got tranced last time, conceding five goals, I think I'm probably still damn happy about this. That cross was a little bit misplaced. And that should be the end of the match. Or not. There's not a cross. That is the end of the match. Cool. So... We dominated the match. I don't know what happened here. Gotta have a look at that maybe. Overall I'm happy. That was fine. We He does not seem to be pissed. If he was. He's anxious. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, easy it is. Um, given that it was really easy, I will do a bathroom break now. So, um, I don't know. Take a walk, everybody, for a minute or something. Stretch your legs, do something healthy. Get, get water, whatever. Gerby. All right, cool. It skipped forward right until the match report. Okay, so we didn't even dominate possession. That's interesting. Also, we might do work ball into the box at some point. But I'm not sure if we want to do that at, uh, as a default. Overall, am I happy with this? Yeah, more or less. Um, more or less. Um, I think the ball winning midfielder doesn't work pretty uh, that well in here. On the other hand, um, we will not train him to be an anchorman anytime soon. There's also the problem that we really need an assistant manager, I think. And for some reason, I cannot comment on the training performances. I don't know why that is. Do I do I need an assistant manager to comment on that? What's going on? Next time out though, we will play Saravak. And that means that they will be scouted prior to that. So hopefully that helps. We can really slot one in, one of these, in every single uh, week that we do not uh, have a f uh, another match. We can just do a friendly there. It's really funny. Also nice affiliation, by the way, with a local rival that we want to get promoted in order to cancel the affiliation thing. So we want the rival to get promoted. Whatever's going on there. There's, okay, these trials are the ones that we finished. Who are you? Sedan Gore will be paid 10k. Okay, that's... That doesn't say anything to me. Takur is a 15-year-old striker that we will sign. We'll, we'll do that. And now we realize that youth contracts are 6 euros a week. Don't we? They are 6 euros a week. 
That's it. We can toss him in the under 19s now. And now we will need to come up with a reasonable position for him to play in the future. So he has acceptable jumping reach, his finishing is alright. Technique is fine. He doesn't have any passing. That said, teamwork and work rate are really great. Did, didn't you say box to box midfielder? Let's have a look. So he's missing some of it. I think that's an idea though. Why not? Doesn't have any traits either. I certainly appreciate that. Usually they come with bullshit traits. Um, Alright, let's go through this. Quickness, sure, would be a thing. Agility and balance, probably not. Strength and jumping reach are not that needed either. Positioning and marking? I, I mean, why not? Um, well, I think the easiest one is probably decision making and composure. It's it's the same as with the quickness though, and well, the quickness should be easier to um to accomplish on a youngster. So let's give him some pace. And they don't pay his wages though. In this case, they do not pay the wages of the striker that we loaned them. Shit. I really was hoping for that. So, do we want to loan him out anyway? I guess in his case, he needs to play. Yeah, so why not? Do we want to set a loan target? I never did that. So... They are a non-league team. Where's their schedule here? They play friendlies and that's it. No cup competition whatsoever. So what do I want for him to be the target? Let, let's set a target. I never use that and I don't care much about the player. Oh no, it includes a promise. How much playing time will I get if I succeed? Well. Impact from the fringes. Okay. He's a striker. So I, I would suggest a goal target of 5 and given that they do not play league matches he will never get that, right? Let's make it 10. That doesn't seem like a... okay. Cool. So no promises, no target whatsoever. All right. But we tried and at least now I know how the dialogue goes. There's two additional strikers coming in here. We'll have like 15 strikers in the under 18 again. Right. He is another one with really great teamwork and work rate. It's it's not only box to box, by the way, that can benefit from this. There's also this weird role in attacking midfield that is known to be Shadow Striker. That's not bad. We'll go with this. I guess to have some worse passing. To have options. I will just go back to the 4 2 3 1 at some point. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, what's this? Yes, teamwork and work rate are fine too. 
Also, he needs to go to the under 19. I forgot with the other one. So, let's do another box to box. Why not? Wow, his physicals are shit. So, I guess he needs that. Let's also give him some dribbling skills. Where's ball control? There it is. Okay, cool. The other one here, where is he? He needs to go to the under 19s. Thanks. And this is the one with the wonderful name. This one we actually signed to be a replacement in the senior squad, I think. What? The fans are happy to have signed such a good player. Okay. He will be fullback on defense for now. And given the lack of mentals, I guess we go with the mentals. Positioning marking decisions, that's probably it. Hopefully we can have some development with him. There's a full scouting report on Saravak. Please tell me we now have knowledge about the players too. Some... Some... Well, that's not bad. Like, not the player, but the, the knowledge is not bad. Now tell me their goalkeeper is worth... They don't have a goalkeeper. Still. We should probably skip through these. See if there's anything useful in here. Like a Congolese central defender. Well, he wouldn't be able to play for us anyway, would he? We can't play him. He's considered to be a foreigner, I guess. Jumping reach one, great. That's a 38 year old fullback. That's sad. Mentals and technicals are okay. True. True. But the affiliate, the affiliate, uh, affiliate has no league loaded. Um, and we cannot sign 15 year olds for zero wages. They get paid six euros a week. That said, he might still play in the friendlies there. And get their goalkeeping training, which is it has the same facility as ours, I guess. Given that we have to train the same, uh, like like the same pitch too. So we would basically, I would be much in favor for that in case they paid the wages, but they don't. So from that perspective, I'm not sure what this accomplishes. I'm not opposed to the idea. I I just don't see. The benefit I think. Um if they had like if the fourth league in Malaysia would be loaded, then this would be fantastic. That's an idea. But this way I don't think he gets match experience. Wow. Sadly, he's an attacking midfielder on the right. Also, he's Rwandan. And he's Rwandan only. I'm staring at the profile of a 37-year-old footballer, I realize. Thank you very much. That's it. In case we want to have a second winger, on the right, that could do defensive winger too. He has two points of determination, but like these attributes are totally fine, aren't they? Yeah, but he's also their star player. 
on 925 euros. He probably won't come over. Yeah. But the thing is, this is the position of Choo Choo. Of one of the two Choo Choo's, which reminds me. Um, still, which one was it? No. No. It was a winger, Chris. Not this one. It was a... No midfielder, but this one. This one it was. Okay. So, we'll add him to the shortlist for a year. He will retire anyway. Um, there's another option here. He might be reasonable personnel in the future. Non-playing stuff. So, that's a thing. Similarly, this guy is not fantastic. But a well-traveled midfielder would probably serve a purpose in our club. What kind of midfielder is this? Can we compare him to... I don't know. I don't even know the names of our midfielders yet. Un Ankun. Norman Ankun. That's easy. Norman Ankun. Here we go. In comparison to Norman Ankun, Norman Ankun is much faster. Apparently he has better attacking. Mental seem reasonable. Strength is a little bit low. He might be more of the box-to-box -box type. Putting in the work. He's got balanced personality only, sadly. Would he be interested in a transfer? We'll offer him a trial. Come in, man. 35 years old, but... I mean, why the hell not? Him? Uh, I don't think so. This is also not that impressive. Don't care. Summary, neither. No, okay. Still, um, feeder club's not that bad, which is, which is just a reflection of us being not good overall. I wanted to rename the players. Let's do that. Cool, that bit got rejected, sadly. So... We'll add them to the shortlist for a year. What's the other? Under 19's one, great. Alright. There's the really important questions now. So... His first name is Asman Chuchu, yes. Oh, the first name is Asman. Cool. So... Asman Chuchu... Where is it? Can't we set a nickname somewhere? What was it again? Set nickname. He will be Thomas. So... Thomas is the fairly professional one. That does play in midfield. And this one... Is the older one, the Choo Choo, and we will uh, rename him too, just because we can. Just the way you do this in English, Choo Choo. Yeah, his but but his um. So apparently there is a Choo Choo. Charles. It's an indie horror game. Whatever that means.
All right. We we like like this. Okay. <laughs> this this is the weirdest shit ever. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we need that sticker. Okay. So this is Choo Choo. And then there's Thomas. Um with Thomas being played as a shadow as a shadow striker um or central well But him being played as a central midfielder on attack duty. That probably not. I somewhat agree with the Shadow Striker sentiment. I just feel like his passing and dribbling are too, uh, too far off. Same as uh, anticipation and composure. I just want him to play at all. Really, in this, within this season. And um, if we remain at the club. I might just go back to something that contains a Shadow Striker after all. But box to box midfielder and Shadow Striker are not that far off from, uh, from the perspective of um, attributes um, trained. And he needs mentals. So, seen from that perspective, I really just want him to train. And given that he's fairly pro, maybe he can pick up some mentals. Like, it's part of the player development after all. So, maybe he'll get some. Don't know. Also, his strength of one won't do. In, in whatever position. Not even as a Shadow Striker. I know Imbiri wasn't much better, but... I don't like that. How's individual training so far? The, this also reminds me of something else. So, mentoring group so far... There's Thomas, as a fairly pro player. is mentor for a young attacking midfielder. And a right midfielder. Is this the way we want this? There's also a 21-year-old that is a resolute player now that we signed, who might be head of a mentoring group too. Problem is, as a 21-year-old, he will probably be influenced by the rest. So if we put him... Resolute... No... Right? That's the wrong one. It's this one. So, if we put a 21-year-old together with a bunch of 18-year-olds, for example, what happens? Is it worth it? He still gets influence from the group, I don't like that at all. Or do we want to keep him within the squad for a season, not being an influence on anyone? On the other hand, we should utilize his, his personality, shouldn't we? He might go back to, I don't know, fairly professional or losing the point of determin yeah, losing the point of determination, going back to fairly professional. Uh, hopefully he doesn't go back to Yeah, but 15 year olds are not in the first team, man. Not yet. And if I pull them up, they will not play in the under 19s and, uh, well... Obviously I could use one of those, but... Preferably like this one. Looks like a psychopath, but otherwise... I think I keep it like this for now. Um, I might regret it. But on the, on the other hand, like losing a resolute player um, and getting somebody that is fairly professional or something, it's not like this is the end of the world. He's also reserved, so he seems to be somewhat resistant to pressure. Um, the rest of the squad's personalities is shit, as far as I'm aware. We can skip through these for a second, but I don't think there's anything reasonable in there. There's a fairly determined one. Well, it's an 18 year old though. I don't know, can they teach the consistency too? 
Is this a thing? So from that perspective... Chat just refreshed, okay. From that perspective, maybe it's a good idea to put Chuchu in as a mentor. What's his personality though? He's level-headed. So balanced and level-headed is not bad. Level-headed is a positive, right? It, it um, should reflect on the loyalty somewhat, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll go with Choo Choo in here. The Choo Choo Train Mentoring Group. True! We'll add him in here. And now we'll just pick another bunch of 18 year olds. Like Rizal, for example. And maybe this guy. So the two left backs, whatever. So he has no influence from the group. He has significant influence on them. He's too old. On the other hand, he is media friendly so far, plus balanced. He is level headed so far, plus balanced. So, um, whatever the influence, he probably doesn't need it. On the other hand, might as well keep him in here. Um, do we have bad characters in the first team? That's actually a really good question, isn't it? Because. He has low determination, for example. He's unambitious. And unflappable. <laughs> so, we could also bring one of the 15-year-olds up and put him in there. Because he will certainly improve. He won't play, though. And it seems like the training benefits him nicely. So let, let's not do that yet. But in case we ever bring along a 17-year-old with a really bad personality, Choo Choo is the way to go. First he goes to Choo Choo and then he goes to Thomas. That makes sense. Also, we should look for a goalkeeper. Come to think of it. Did we find anyone? I don't care about this. Not right now. One of these seems... Well, we don't know yet. No, but one of these seemed reasonable. It seems like we know about players of Cushing. Whoever that is. There's also this 18-year-old who is... Command of areas one to three, so that's fantastic. Can we can we just get a goalkeeper that is five in every attribute? Just something that is borderline tolerable. Wow. That might just end up being our best bet. Uh. Okay. He's in the under 18s right now. Fairly susceptible. Uh, he's very susceptible to injury, though. Not good. Not good. <laughs> Maybe one of the coaches finally agrees to a deal now. I'll have a look. I thought about that too. Now let it skip forward for a second here. There we go. Okay. Mm. Liga Super Malaysia. That should be the second one. Where is it? Maximum of nine foreign players. Maximum of 8 foreign players, not including Southeast Asian, uh, Southeast Asian players. Maximum of 7 foreign players, not including Asian players. So all of a sudden we can sign at least 7 foreigners. And well, up to 9. 
the, the rest of them need to be from Asia or Southeast Asia. That's not bad. So obviously this season we will not get promoted anytime soon. But assuming we can strengthen the squad, we can bring in foreigners next season. And it does not seem like there's restrictions on playing them. I might have overlooked that. But... It's not too bad, is it? it might be ro more restricted in first league. But nine is like basically the whole squad. Yeah. But Imbiri, Sukip though, as well as Isha, they have all been new gens. They are not in the game. Jorge Cesar is the only one that uh, actually exists here. Hmm. No, it's it, even Bernie Go. Um, like all of the all of the stuff that uh, was really great in, uh, in in the last installment of Football Manager was AI, uh, was was auto generated. I have a hard time coming up with uh, with a player that wasn't. Even Antoine Puget, not that I want him. He he wasn't a, a real player. A few more strikers, why not? Cool. That's really not that bad. He's damn small though. Sadly. But let's train him as a deep line forward. No, let's not do that. He has shitty vision. Let's not do that. Let's try target forward instead. He's really bad at this too. As I just realized. We'll, we'll have a pressing forward. Why not? That said, he needs to be in the under 19s. What about him? He has good dribbling, his acceleration and pace are somewhat tolerable. He has good stamina, good teamwork and good work rate. He's a good finisher, his off the ball movement, anticipation, composure and decision making are fine. Nah man. Uh, close. I'll actually put him on Shadow Striker I think. If I can hit the menu, that is. He's missing concentration, pace, agility, and some passing. I think I'll go with this. That's not too shabby. And about this guy. Well, I think that's pretty easy. We'll probably go with this role too. Given that he's already a natural there, why not? Um, that said, he needs some major improvement and maybe off the ball movement. And now, this is a coach. We have a coach. Yes. This is yet another striker. <laughs> Apparently we just signed 16 year old strikers. But we have a coach, so we will give him a job. Well, that will probably earn us a lot of money and get us relegated. But sure, you're not wrong. He's an attacking coach. If we give him both of these, it's one and a half stars each. So I guess the question is, do we want tactical attacking or do we want both? I guess we want both, don't we? That's not bad. And I will keep myself this time in all of these. Um, not due to the fact that I think we, were, we are effective in these. Might actually improve. No, it doesn't. Um, but at some point it might improve if I take off um, my, myself out of these. But I think it's really important that I learn how to do these as a character. So, given that I learned what I practice, well... 
Um, Mutt. He his physicals aren't that bad. He has some aggression to him. Off the ball movement seems reasonable. Decision making is really bad. I don't. I don't think I can. I would like to. But I think we hit the limit. Well, we didn't yet. Um, we need. We need to have an assistant manager first, and then slots are full. But I think assistant manager is more important. That said, um, I will definitely beg for additional stuff. Like, I need, I don't know, six or seven slots for coaches usually. I spend a lot of coaching uh, on, on coaching usually. Probably not per person, but I spend a lot of coaching in general um, from the perspective of uh, overall number of stuff. And there is Kander, a striker, not to be confused with the attacking midfielder that we had in the old club. He's fairly determined, it seems. No, it's not too bad. <laughs> Does it work? Did you ever try to do that in rock bottom Malaysia? Oh, you're in Wales, right? So, your stuff probably is... As, it, it should be as good as mine. We might just... I don't know. Switch? Is there somebody you want to get rid of? Just toss him over in my direction. I can probably use him. Obviously, I will ask Choo Choo to welcome Iskander. Sure. There's, there's the response for the assistant manager at Holy Hell. He's loyal. Also, a really shitty coach. Like, really, really bad. A loyal would be fine, but. Wow. This is not better. Neither is this. Ugh. Would this be an improvement for us? I guess he could do tactical defending and it would probably suffice for one star coaching. Hi Mies, welcome back to the stream. Also, I hate myself for doing this. Okay, at least he's not expensive. So, he's at 110. Let's start with 65. Maybe, maybe with 65. Sign this guy. What will we settle on? Yeah, five month contract is all I'm willing to offer right now. Hopefully, we get a better uh, a better overview of the circumstances in Malaysia until the end of the year. Um, I'm just going for the the end of the year uh, contract, basically 75. I offered okay. So we offer 80. Um, well, we got trounced once um, by. The rock bottom team of the league. This works. That's good. Y yes, we are Sa we are Sarawak United FC. Not to be confused with Sarawak only. Without the only. Sarawak is our affiliate club. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's, it's a Christmas kid uh, club. But um, I will just show you the affiliate here. This is Saravak. With a logo that's basically the same. Also, kids seem reasonably familiar. And um, this is a fourth league club that we want to get promoted. We can 
the players can move freely between the two clubs. And for some weird reason, they are also our local rivals. So... Whatever. Um, we did play a friendly. Uh, not against Saravak. Us ourselves being Saravak United so far. Um, but it gets even more stupid. Like, the skill level here is astounding. Also, I just want to inform you that we have two players that have nicknames now. So, um... This is Asman bin Chuchu. And given that the last name is Chuchu and his first name starts with an A, we have another player here that is named Ashri bin Chuchu. So I decided to rename both of these. One of them is called Thomas, like the train, and the other one is just called Chuchu. That was recommended by... Um, Chironalad as well as um, Tedong. Is it Tedong? Oh, finally, I got your name. Uh, the tank engine, yeah, maybe. We can, why not? We can. Um, I'm also thinking, well, like the target man, he's, he's not a good target man yet, is he? But... Oh, yes, he is. I'm actually thinking of pulling him up straight into the, in, into the first squad. And um, getting rid of this unambitious. Like, let him be tutored by Choo Choo, and afterwards let him be tutored by um, Thomas. So, why the fuck will we not do that, right? So, we slap him in here. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. There is no, no influence on the rest of the squad whatsoever. And he gets an, a significant influence, uh, significant influence from them, so that makes sense. He's also like, to be fair, he's reasonably tall, so that might just impact him. And uh, given that he's a target forward, I have no idea why I trained him as a pressing forward. Doesn't make sense. I don't know what I did there. Um, specific strength training, really? Do I want to do that? guess he needs it. And whatever. If his jumping reach goes up even a little bit, his heading is fine, his jumping reach is fine. So if he has any strength whatsoever, that will probably suffice to be really impactful. So yeah. Let's keep him here. For the next friendly. Um, also, I didn't get rid of all of the, all of the poachers' mees. Um, I'm very sorry to report that nobody wants to buy poachers on 180 euros per week. And our affiliate club will only take them for free. Hmm. Can still send them, but there's no league loaded, so... There's also no league that I can add. Um, this safe contains all of the leagues in all of standard football manager database, so don't blame me. You can blame me for the, for the less than stellar performance, though. Yeah, sure. Okay, who was that? No, oh, that's a fullback. So we poached that one from our rivals. And he comes on a non contract for some reason. He was paid 160, uh, 170 euros per week prior to that. Not sure why he's coming in. Alright, that might take a while. So, given that this is still processing, did you reconsider your... Uh, is it pronounced hiatus? Hiatus, I guess. Um, or football manager means? Or did you... Uh, are, are you still strong? 
Why not journal it? But do you think there's a league rule against it? He might need to be registered, maybe. In league games. But we can ju just re register him. That shouldn't be much of a problem. Transfer window still open. So, I don't think there's anything that speaks against it. If he doesn't hurt himself, that is. Obviously. So, now we have a reasonable fullback. This gives us the option to get rid of the other guy. Your, your, um, your intention not to play football manager because you burned out on it or something like that. I, I don't have you confused, right? You, you said you, you, uh, you took a break from uh, football, playing football manager prior to the release of FM24. So I'm not sure if you picked it up again. Okay. Okay, I see. So you're back playing playing FM24 now. If I understand correctly. That's not bad. Alright. So I guess welcome back. It's Christmas time after all, at least in this club. It always is with the sweater kid. Uh well. Well well. To be honest, I think passing. I hate it, but I think passing. Even though it is not considered that important. But one point of vision and no technique and no passing skill whatsoever. Probably passing. Okay. The 40 year old's trial comes to an end. Do we want a sender back? That cannot run for sure. And he can't jump and, well, he's not that strong anymore either. Does have good marking and uh, positioning and tackling and stuff though. And he will probably retire at the end of the season. Do we need somebody like this? Don't tell me this is bad. You have not seen my central defenders yet. Okay, he's probably better. Let's have a look. Well, Carrier for sure is a bit more speedy and overall he's not that bad. Comparison to him. What's with the other guy? Sorry, I don't know my own uh, squad's names yet. He's faster. Bad player, uh, well, like, his defending is not as good as the other ones, though. And last but not least, there's the right back that might play as a central defender in the future. So he will probably be... Wow. Just wow. <laughs> I guess we could use somebody that needs help with jumping at this point. <laughs> Want to sign a 40-year-old? Ah, he's also fairly inconsistent. Uh, I don't know. He might be a positive influence on the rest of the squad. Being a balanced personality that is level-headed and all. So, I guess that might help. And he might want to be director of football once his playing career is over. So, yeah, I, I want to look at something. Say we tell him he's emergency backup. That's a bit underwhelming for him, but whatever. He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I thought so. So um, none of the players that are outside this club seem to, be, seem to think that it's a reasonable assumption that they can get a full-time contract. Or a, a part-time contract, whatever. Everybody else is on a part-time contract, but there's no money in this club, so apparently everybody wants a non-contract now. Um, given that we do not pay players that do not play on non-contracts, we might as well include him like that. 
So it's only a question of um, like uh, the, the training slot. But we can't just get rid of all of the poachers. And I'd rather have a central defender on the bench that's... And can he do anything else? I'd rather have a central defender on a bench that can might as well serve as a target forward for the odd match at some point. Why not? So let's do something like this. Yeah, no. We'll go with this. There was also, I, I'm not sure if it was in this safe, I think. Um, I didn't touch the other one. There might also have been a 50-year-old. There was still uh, on, on the pitch. Let's look again. Might have confused that. He's 32. I do not need another poacher, though. We've got enough of these. Thanks. Yep, yeah, thanks. Let's have a look into the player search again, get rid of all of this. Attributes. Clear. There it is. Okay. There we go. Let's have a look at the max age. No, it wasn't here. Um, there's a lot of 18-year-olds in this one, though. Yeah, true. I think so, too. Um... That said, um, there's also an, another argument um, for how to approach the safe, I guess. Um, we might also go around the world trying to collect scouting knowledge. I'm usually not one to skip from club to club, so this is really foreign as a, as a mindset to me. Like, just for the development of, of the character, that makes sense. But that would uh, imply a rather short-minded uh, mindset for each and every club. So, a real journeyman. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I very much enjoy long-term planning, if that makes sense. On the other hand, might as well try. But maybe, maybe we can try to hop from place to place to get some scouting knowledge there. And maybe I'll just do some random countries and lower leagues. I usually don't. Usually I decline all of these. Um, I'm trying to remember right now. So um, obviously I don't want to lie. Um, I think I rarely did that. Um, prior to streaming, obviously. But in some of the cases, um, things didn't go well in Football Manager. And um, another team came and wanted to sign me. And I think I might have followed that once or twice. Um, that said, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know anymore. But I think I might have done that once or twice. But I was close to being fired anyway. In these situations. Or it was like, um, it wasn't even for a big club, if that makes sense. Um, it might have been something like, uh, okay, I spent two and a half seasons in random ass country, don't know anymore. And um, a club from England in the lower leagues came and uh, said, okay, we will hire you now. And I was like, okay, let's go to the Vanarama South. Because, um, <coughs> yeah, something like this. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> We will, uh... Okay. We'll go with this. And it says attacking corners and defending corners. We will obviously do attacking free kicks, too. What's the recommendation here? Okay, he, he recommends that. I don't... We'll do, we'll do throw-ins. We'll have throw-ins for sure. Yeah, we need to train those. Uh, yeah. So, 
the biggest problem right now is that a squad is um, like a half-assed composition of players that might or might not do. Please tell me we can talk to the players training. We cannot talk to the players about their training. Why is that? L let me know if you know. Because I'm not sure why that is. I think I encountered that previously. I just don't know anymore. We can't criticize any of those either. And well, training workload. It's okay so far, for some weird reason. It's not pre-season though, we're in the middle of the... And also you can, I think. So I, I, I disagree, right? Respectfully, but um, I think you can. But this is not preseason anyway. We're in the middle of the season in a two-week break. We just got lucky that there's this break here. You will not be loaned out anymore. Can we? Where's the loan status? Oh, here we go. Of course. I don't know. It's 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 about the performance in the last week though. So I think it has to do maybe it has to do with performance analysts or something. Isn't there like a job for this? The coaching team? Performance analyst, maybe? Is this what the performance analyst is about? We'll try. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, of course. Why not? Why not, Mies? Um, But maybe not good, Borg. But on the other hand, um, I, I guess that wouldn't make some sense. But um, if there is one or two countries that would that I would probably avoid right now, it's probably Indonesia and Sweden. I also skipped on on the Welsh clubs, um, if re if you recall, in in the last session. Um, I I think I um. Yeah, well, well, the manager does, yes. But why would I go there again? I I spent. Five or six seasons with Jitter Hochdahl's IK. Yeah, true. But um, I just did this for flavor, really. Um, I also speak Danish and, I don't know, whatever there is in, in Scandinavian languages. I guess no Finnish. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. It's Swedish, English, Norwegian, Danish and Basha Indonesia, apparently. Because I learned. Um, so, but going back to Sweden would probably be really annoying to all of you. Obviously voice your opinions. Like, I have no problem going back to Sweden again. I just thought it would be really boring on stream to do Sweden again. Now that I know it. It's, it's more entertaining to see me fail, isn't it? So, on the other hand, <laughs> I'm also more, very likely to fail in Sweden once more, come to think of it. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for that. So, maybe if an offer comes up. I think, um, I think though, um, I got an offer from Sweden in pre, uh, like, prior to going to Malaysia. And it was, uh, from, it was from a fourth level club. So, uh... Same level as the other Hogdals. That said, uh, probably with better financial circumstances, because well, there's not much better, uh, mon not much worse than Yellow Hogdals, I think. We will take, we can take him off the transfer list now. Perfect. Um. Cool. We'll remove him from the transfer list in that case. That's easier to follow this, by the way. Nobody cares about him being on the trans uh, on the on the loan list. It seems. 
sadly. See, under 21, he's 18 years old. We'll drop this guy down, down, the, down to the under 18. Sure. Was. After speaking with him, I think it would be wise to work with him in the coming weeks, as I think we can make some strength training changes and improve his game. Go away. Cool. Thank you very much. If he realizes his potential. Well, if anyone realizes his potential, they will probably be just fine. So... Let's not get him out for loan. That said, he's under the age of 18. He's rubbish. Well, his pace and his crossing and his uh, stuff and all is fine. I will just drop him to the under 18 still. And he earns more than the entire rest of the squad there. But he just needs playing time. And well, now he's out of the team. So that's not bad. Um, Let's throw these out. Because we have a first team. Wait. Gotta pick up on something here. Who will remain in the first team and who will just be dropped? Okay. This striker we just pulled up due to mentoring purposes. He's also our prospect target forward with two points of strength, pains me to say. These guys are out of the club anyway, so we might as well move them to the under, eight, uh, under 19. He's 23, he's 23. I will just drop them to the under 21s though. So they are out of the squad for now. Chong Ai King, I don't know the guy. Go to the under 21s, please. And all of these are trialists too. I can hardly see that. It's really annoying. Maybe I should change the color. Can we, can we do that? There's a setting to change this, right? Uh, preferences. It's probably in the interface settings again. Cool. Uh, skin colors. Players on trial, in and out. Yeah. This light green will not do. Can I just... I just want it to be a bit stronger. Like this? Wait, well, that's probably a bit much. So, that should probably help. I don't know what custom colors are. Don't care. Because I can barely distinguish between the white and the green. Maybe that's me. Um, I'm not exactly good with red and green. Common occurrence in males, apparently. But, whatever. Way better. But now it's hard to read, but whatever. It's, it's still better than the other one. Um, okay. This guy is our future right defender. I actually think we should play him this time. We just signed this guy. So he's some sort of a replacement that makes sense. This guy is what we signed as a backup in left back, so this is fine. He can be taken off the lists. Nobody wants him anyway. The position color. The 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 one um like this one? What do you change it to? Oh, 
I uh, I sometimes go with to blue. Okay, I sometimes go with the attributes. Um, going from uh, going from a dark red to um to a bright blue. Um, so blue being good and red being bad. Um, or it's it's grayish red basically. Um, that's really bad. And uh, somewhat blue for these. That said, I do not feel it like it doesn't fit the skin. Um. Because all, all of the purple here. Um, I can probably put this on all black though. Come to think of it. And then it fits. So maybe I'll do that at some point. But really, I, I don't, don't want to tinker with that right now. Yeah. I, I usually go with... Um, I go with reddish gray. Normal gray, white and light blue. If I'm not mistaken. I can see why. That said, um, I, I don't know. Colors and me. I, I, I'd probably go with black and white if I could. Yeah. That, that makes sense, though. Um, that said, um, my, my weakness for red and uh, green is not that bad. Like, um, I can clearly distinguish between these two. Or um, I can clearly distinguish um, the, the spots here. Even if there aren't any here. These. I can clearly distinguish between these colors. That's not a problem. Um, the problem arises in, uh, in different shades of, uh, of purple, for example. I'm really bad at this. In that case, I just don't know what to do, so I need to change the colors. And I feel like this is a common occurrence, though. Um, like, not only for me. A lot of people have this. Like, yeah, percentage-wise, it's not that many, but... Um, it's rather common, I think. I wouldn't be surprised to have anyone else um, be on a mail on the stream at some point that has a similar thing. So, we don't need him in the first team. We'll drop him to the under-21s. Hussein. Well, Given that we do not have any other central midfielders and that he trains reasonably well, I think he can stay for now. Uh, he's not listed either. So we'll put him in here. Uh, Mohammad. He's not horrible. I do not think we have anyone else. In the senior squad right now, that would do the replacement for the winger on the right side. So that's fine. And then there's like a bunch of strikers. Is any one of these really good? He's alright, Hasnan. Kumar is bad. More or less. And this guy's even worse. So we will drop him to the under-19s immediately. Hopefully most of these strikers... Most of these are signed until the end of 24, though. That's really, really bad. We will need to carry them through all of this. Like, the, their wage. And Hasnan can go on the bench. So, this also tells us what we need, right? Um, so... We need a right back slash central defender. We need another central defender. We need a ball winning midfielder or something. We need a central midfielder. We need a winger to the left. And well, that's about it. Could also use a third goalkeeper, maybe. That is reasonable. But I think we will go through this match first. And uh, I will just bring along a, f a few 18 year olds or whatever. And then we will uh, look f at 45 trials.
Okay, so the trial for Saran Abdul Zamat ended. We did offer a contract to him, so this is one of the central defenders. There is also the deal with the assistant manager, so hopefully he can get us to one star coaching in one category. And now the slots should be full, so we can immediately ask for another coach. Somewhat true. Um, I think it's even easier. As long as the, the club injects 45k um, whenever we run out of money. <laughs> I guess we don't need to worry about money at all. Um, that's just not the way I do things. But yeah, in general I think this is the way it is. And well, we could really use additional coaching stuff. Because I, I didn't have a look at it, but I think our training facilities are not poor. Given that we are in a 40k, uh, 40k all-seater stadium. Sure. So, let us recommend a signing, please. And also, is there any coaching category you're good at? That's not bad. So it says possession here, I guess tactical possession. We might also put him on tactical defending maybe. Now it's one star each. This is worth? I guess that's worth it. I'd rather distribute a little bit. And yes, I keep myself on all of the coaching categories. Um, for sure. We can have a performance analyst. Cool. Now we just need one. Stuff. Well, let's go here. Let's play as an ad. We have another week for this, don't we? Also, we need another coach. This will not do. Like, coaching team is horrible. That can't stand. We need a set piece coach. And we also need. General coaching stuff allowed. Come to think of it, we might as well ask for a coach for the under 21s, but I don't want to overspend. Uh, well, um, here I don't think we need anything. The head of youth development is really interesting, and uh, we need one too. Did we? We set up um, an ad for that one, right? Yeah, that's set up. So hopefully we can get both. Hopefully that helps. In finding our way. <laughs> we will play PIB next time, who are fourth in the league. I just want to get the odd point here and there. Everybody's unhappy with the standard of the screen coaching. Well, you could have guessed. Oh, sure. We dropped some of the players. True. Okay, that makes sense. So, seen from that perspective, who's without a mentor? This is with Thomas, so we just need an 18 year old in here. Like Ahmad, for example, who doesn't have a trade anyway. And, well, there's worse people to receive fairly professional personality than an 18 year old defensive midfielder. Resolute no trades on the other hand, that seems reasonable too. Uh, now we have a problem. I think we'll drop in him from this one. Yeah, has no influence whatsoever on the remainder of them. That's very good. So hopefully he's not that unprofessional though. We'll see. And I very much like this too. Um, we are... Is he level-headed? He's media-friendly. Well, this will include him here. Yeah, see? We might actually uh, put in the 22-year-olds too. Let's have a look. It's still, he's still a positive influence on all of them. 
He's media friendly, so let's get rid of that. He's media friendly, so let's get rid of that. Uh, what about a 23 year old? Okay, this, this is too much for my taste. That said, he might be a good personality. No, he's media friendly. Go away. What about him? He's level headed already. So, um, still, that might work. Um, that should even out uh, the worst personalities in there, given that they are all balanced, whatever balanced means for all of these players. So in aggregate, it will probably be, I don't know if it will be a positive, but at least they will all have Choo Choo's personality later on. And hopefully Choo Choo is a good personality. If not, well, we will need to cope with it later. Now, though, we will play our local rivals, also our feeder club. No, we will not. <laughs> I hope you are ready for this. You didn't come to watch football, did you? Holy fuck. Okay. This is, this is a bit very dark. I will need to change this again at some point. This goalkeeper seems like he's rubbish. No communication skills whatsoever. One-on-ones are really bad. I, I'll take a pass. Azam Marsuk Safiri. It's not the worst I've ever seen, sadly. Susceptible to injuries, though. He would be on a non-contract anyway. But like, with that composure and concentration, I'd, I'll probably take a pass. That said, I'll put him on the, fri uh, on the friend list. Yeah, that too. I'll put him on the friend list. I'll add him on whatever. WhatsApp. Skype. Hmm... I think we have enough poachers for now. Uh, no. We can use another midfielder that said... This is a bit weirdish. Decision making is free. Don't like that. For a playmaker without flair, I, I think I'll pass. He's a sweeper keeper and apparently he's really bad, in particular with communication and one-on-one, -on -one, so no. Ishak. Obviously, I want an Ishak in every team, but in this case, <sighs> seems a little bit slow. We have right backs. I might get back to it. He doesn't like the standard of the goalkeeping coaching, neither do I. I also do not like the standard of play that he offers. Like, this is fine. This? This is horrible. Uh, I don't know much about this one. That said, he's a midfielder with one to four points of passing, so... Big fucking nope. Sepe talk. That could be worse. He's 21, though. And uh, there's a bunch of ones in here that I don't like. Also very susceptible to injury, so whatever. Hidari. His agility is fine. So rest like we, we I can deal with bad ball distribution in a way. So one on ones being six that might be tolerable. Anticipation is low, positioning's low, communication's really low. I'd rather not. Osha is a bad poacher. Chong Ai King. Are we still in Looking for a right winger. He's homegrown at the club. That's somebody we dropped at some point. Well, we didn't. Former management did. And I guess I can see why. But I don't feel like... Like the work rate is alright. Anticipation is a 
very low of the ball movements, very low. But for a 20 year old, he might just do. I'll put him on a short list. And I will invite him back in for another trial. This one has better communication skills at least. Fairly determined too, that's not too shabby. Handling is... Some of this is really not tolerable. But we need a better goalkeeper. I do not need a poacher. Wow. I'm really, really impressed. A central defender that is 1 meter 65 has 3 points of jumping reach and 1 point of strength. What the hell did you do in training? Badris and Michael, he's a wingback. We don't play with a wingback, not with the position anyway. He's fairly ambitious, so that's a plus. The attributes are not exactly or uh, exactly or inspiring. He's a consistent performer, though. And well, in comparison to what we signed, he's probably not the worst. I'll put him on the short. Ah, uh, no, I don't. Really, don't want to do that. A DM that can tackle. Okay. But his mentals are shit, same as <laughs> his physicals overall. And he's 21 years old, balanced personality, very inconsistent, I'd rather not. Yeah, hiya. Yeah. I think this is it, actually. The anticipation is absolute rubbish and the positioning is not much better, neither is the concentration. Ball distribution is shit. We can cope with that, he can roll the ball out. I don't want to play him in the first team right now. But I've seen worse. I guess. Can we put you on a youth contract somewhere? Yeah, you, we will pay you 25 euros, that's fine. See? Apparently he's really unambitious too. Okay, he wants that. Alright, apparently this is really required. What about that one? Yeah, you don't care. So we will probably be able to drop this down to 9, won't we? Yeah, and now we can't drop it anymore. Okay. A uh, central midfielder with... Well, he has passing. No flair, though. Don't think so. That natural fitness is very impressive. Also fairly susceptible to injury, sadly. Ambrose Charlie. Well, I'd rather not. He might knife somebody. Is Mundy. That was an old reference at this point. Come to think of it. That's not too bad. Sadly. A little bit out of position for us. I don't think I want to sign him yet. Shaimont Liang Lil Yang. Well, he's got flexibility. I'll give him that. Susceptible to injury, so that's not that much. Really shitty crosser though. Dribbling is really bad. In central midfield, I couldn't play him, really. I, I guess I could. That's worse. I've really seen worse, I think. But... Hmm. It says here he has no potential. Well, it says here he can improve a lot. 
That's that's true, probably. I don't know. That's not good either. We need somebody to be able to play in this se what holy hell. In this season. He can't play defensive midfielder. So we're in between central midfielder on attack and box to box. If we need to find somebody for our team. As a box to box he box he's shit. And central defender on a uh, central midfielder on attack. He has a reasonable long shot, reasonable passing, first touch is fine, technical and technique are off. The entirety of his um his mental attributes are not that great and his stamina is low. I'd rather not. On the other hand, I will probably not find much better. Another Is this better than what we have? Forget about the throwing for a second. A goalkeeper does not need to throw the ball, right? That's not required. It, it's a rare occasion anyway. Positioning and concentration are really low. The rest of his attributes, yeah sure, the communication is also low. But, like, have you seen our goalkeepers? Let's compare this guy to Alias. Raman's command of area is 2. His throwing is absurdly bad too. There's barely a difference between the two. And he's on 160 euros per week. True. But I'm I'm not going on about the I'm, I really don't care about the throwing. I care about this. And well, th this is better for him, but that doesn't matter much, I think. The two points in anticipation. I do care a lot about the uh, command of area. In fact. The kicking, I don't care much. I don't think I have any knowledge of these. But that's a good idea. So let's go towards Malaysia national teams. We are just talking. Well, yeah, I have no, no knowledge of these. Um, we're not talking. Can I sign them? Right. We're talking. What are their attribute levels? That's it. That's actually also a good idea. So if you had that one, thank you very much. Yeah, exactly. Let's just offer a trial to the entirety of the... Under well, I guess we can offer a trial to these two. Cool. Don't care. Um... And maybe skip these. That's it. I'm not sure if he's that bad. I'll drop him on the shortlist for a while. Um, I also want to compare him to the other one. So that's still Alias. Let's look at this one. This is the... Whatever that is. Still compare him to... Where's Alias? This one. If we look at goalkeeping attributes here. I think there's a reasonable argument to be made that these are very, sim very similar. And he would be vastly underpaid in comparison to the others. Well, they are vastly overpaid. So... As a third option in goalkeeping, I don't think this is the worst decision I could make. That said, personalities, well, he's balanced and media friendly, so fuck that. A central defender that can play DM, 
No, it's a DM that can play Central Defender. That's it. He's not good. Uh, big nope. <laughs> Anyone wants me to sign a central defender with one point of jumping reach and strength? We'll do that. Stanley. This actually looks interesting. Sadly, he wasn't on trial for long enough. Well, his strength is rubbish. His positioning is bad too. He has some passing first touch and technique and some dribbling, uh, some, some tackling, sorry. Dribbling is not ex inexistent. He's also rather pacey. No bravery whatsoever. What's going on with him? I want to see this guy in, in full. I want to find out. Because the division is low. Passing seems low-ish. His tackling is good. Maybe as a defensive midfielder. But still, I, I would prefer some strength and some jumping reach on him. On the other hand, if this is all there is to it, maybe he can get that. He was rated well below what we have, though. Just, like, the acceleration is really impressive. The rest of it isn't. Montour, do I really... Uh, our reflexes are fine, communication on two, though. Ouch. Another poacher... Another poacher... No. He's a midfielder. Passing is fine, first touch is fine, leadership and determination are fine. And then what? He can run. Ma, I don't think so. Dominic, Shane, Dustin. That's not much better. Sadly, no good personality either. Celestine, Lindron, Dennis. Senderbeck. The trumping reach is alright, the heading is shit. And he's susceptible to injury. Uh, Mansour. That's not horrible, but the tackling is really off. Also susceptible to injury. Antonio Jingacho. Jingacho is a great name. I very much appreciate that. That said, this looks like a poacher. So I think I'll take a pass. Sorry, Jingacho. We did not get a set-piece coach, and there's no debate to be had about that. We did get a 40-year-old veteran, though, and we get another coach. Perfect. So we will immediately search for another po a coach. What do we need next? Goalkeeping coach, fitness coach? I guess... Well, I guess fitness coaching is for everybody, right? So maybe we can come up with one. And then afterwards it's goalkeeping coach, obviously. I should probably grab some food. Oh, fuck's sake. What? 63 messages. Okay, we signed this guy, that's true. He is in the first team, yeah, that's true too. We also train him as a central defender. And I think we will deal with his lack of... No, he, he will be no-nonsense center back, won't he? Doesn't, doesn't make much sense. He has good decision-making. He will be central defender. I just need him to instruct in that, uh, that way. Um, I think we will deal with the fact that he has no pace. Like, it doesn't matter much if acceleration is 4 or if it's 1 at this point. We just need to accept that. That said, I cannot accept the lack of jumping reach and strength on him, and it's just for one season anyway. Maybe he will be uh, director of football afterwards. Oh, this is all of the trial offers for for the under 18 and under 21's uh, trialists. 
Nobody wants to come. Well, a few of them have been accepted. What was this? Scouting update. Sure. <laughs> That's not bad. They found somebody. He's also 38 years old. But whatever. We're trying to build a retirement home, right? This is what we do right now. He's one to sign at the end of this season, I think. If he, make, if he wants to go for another season. Acceleration and pace are really low too. Shall we really play with two basically 40 year olds? Looks to be fairly inconsistent too. I don't know. I'll put him on the short list, I think. Depending on the decline. Might not. See better. I will definitely go with a 38 year old goalkeeper. No problem with that. Agility is still fine. Positioning is a bit off. Composure is a bit low. I don't know if he's any good. But we'll offer our trial. Okay. This is all trials, right? Everybody rejects us. So, so much for internationals. But we tried, you know. And I will just bring along these guys. I don't think we need to bring along anyone from the under 21s or under 18s, do we? It's under 19 here. All of these are trial lists. I guess we could bring along Vahab. Azmi? That's a 16 year old. There's a ton of poachers here. We'll bring along him. Why not? And Wahab, maybe. A 15 year old striker that is in the first team is uh, here anyway. So. Let's be happy with this. Alright, what, what do we face? A 4 4 2? Holy hell, we know something about these guys. Alright. So, given that we want to defeat them. This guy has really bad passing, and his bravery is very low. Also, well, his composure is decent, though. Um, he will probably outrun his markers, given their lack of capability. So, not sure what to do with him. He will probably outrun us, we'll see. Abedin. Composure is low. Dribbling is alright. I think we can close him down. Yeah, probably. This guy on the... L He's a striker. So that's the one on the left, though. Um, he's considered to be a striker. He is somewhat pacey. His crossing is alright-ish. Same as his passing. Oh, we'll show him to the left, I think. And that's it. Tight marking. Don't want to necessarily avoid that. Closing him down due to the bad passing. Or maybe. Don't know. They will do that by themselves, um, given the way we play. This one needs to be marked out of the game, I think. Dribbling slow, bravery is low, strength is low, and he has no off-the-ball movement, so we will mark him tightly. And also tackle him hard, I think. Mr. Amadire. This one should be marked out of the game, too. Ah, uh, well, he's somewhat dangerous. I think we had a look at him earlier. So we'll try to mark him tightly. Is he prone to injury, by the way? It's increased, at least. Um, on the other hand, not sure if I want to hurt that guy. His bravery is not that bad. I think, I think we'll try. Chichimana. This is a very reasonably looking 37-year-old, sadly. 
And we cannot really mark him tightly due to the good of the bond movement. Best we can do is show him to the left foot and trigger the press on him. That will probably not work. He's left footed only, so let's show him to the right. Siding. His passing is fine, sadly. Crossing is bad. So. He has no vision whatsoever, though. I do not think we need to mark him tightly. Even though his passing is fine, I do not expect him to pull anything off. Like, this seems like he doesn't have the overview of the pitch. So I do not think we need to tr uh, trigger the press on him either. I think we can ignore this guy, even though he has great passing. We know absolutely nothing about the central defender, so let's do nothing. He has good passing too, his vision is way better though. Um, seems to be a defensive midfielder it says here. Dribbling slow, bravery slow, strength is alright. So we can trigger the press on him and tackle him. That said, his passing is rather okay. So I'd rather not go with specific non-marking instructions here. And he's a right defender with decent crossing, decent passing and a strong right foot. So we'll show him to the left. He's dangerous. For a defender that is. Um, tight marking might be a thing here. Off the ball movement's good though, so I don't know. I guess triggering the press to restrict his time on the ball. Also, we know absolutely nothing about this goalkeeper. Okay. We'll not do much about the team selection, I think. Thomas as well as Chuchu will play. How's Ritzel doing? Oh. He made it to the first red dot, at least. And what's with Ahmad? Somewhat trying to develop. Dingang. Same. Apparently our rubbish training still helps. Oh, we will also do the opposition instructions in the next match only. Okay, let's go. He's hurt due to Omar Hitimana being much stronger. The rest of them seem to be okay-ish. They are confused. Why? Who do you want to play instead? Anyone wants to take a guess about the result? This is a fourth league team and it's... Well, it seems like they have players on our skill level, to be fair. <laughs> That's a strong guess. We play for... We play rivals. We'll play it for the fans. Apparently this works on two of them. Okay. Well, we play at home against them playing also at home. Not sure what to say. I don't believe it. There's people in the stands. If this actually earns us 10k... Wow. Yeah, we are the red ones, they play in black. Okay. They stole our home kit colors. No, this is the way kit colors. We stole them. Doesn't matter much, it's the same team more or less. That's dangerous from the get-go. I see. Good technique. Goalkeeper comes out to claim the ball. And that's with his two points of aerial reach, I think. Ankun Ritzal. Wow. Well, <laughs> I guess the set piece was fine. Here comes Choo Choo. That's bad.
My motivating skills do not seem to be required. What the hell, I'm not on a yellow card already. Oh, he's the ball winning midfielder. Yeah, that makes sense. So we'll put him on defensive midfielder instead, taking fewer risks and easing off tackle. Sadly, that also means he shoots less often and he has a decent long shot. Can we can we put him on anchorman or something? It also says it should he should shoot more often. I guess we'll just go with this. Hopefully he doesn't get thrown off the pitch. Maybe we'll just give everyone a proper like name that I can pronounce. Like Thomas. We will call the other ones, I don't know, Burned and uh, Niels. Probably not Niels. Sven. Because Ding Dang is really impossible to pronounce. Thomas! Ooh, Mr. Choo Choo. We could have done better. Didn't we instruct him to press high up on the pitch? Yeah, uh, well, the, the last one probably won't be it. But thank you very much for coming up with uh, whatever names come to mind at first as an American. <laughs> like, I, th I think uh, both of these are um, slightly discouraged in utilization in Germany. Maybe Mies can correct me. Maybe Hermann is uh, tolerable. But uh, Adolf, probably not. That's a nice tackle. Sadly, goes far for, for uh, throw in for them. Abu Bakar. That's a cross. Okay, he was offside. That's one of theirs. Where is he? It's the guy on the left. Wide midfielder. Doesn't say much. Bancun. There's the cross. Nah, Ritzal is not a good header. Where is he? He did score recently. For some reason. His heading is one. He is somewhat tall though. At least for Malaysian standards. We should probably try to um, retain possession a little bit more. I feel like we can pull this off. So let's walk the ball into the box instead. Tire them out. They seem to be a bit tired anyway. What is our... So this is something that I want to come up with. Passing is 4, passing is 6, passing is 4, passing is 2. Yeah, playing out of defense is probably out of question here. Not a good idea. Ankun. Choo choo. Come on, man. Train goes fast. Doesn't. Ankun, Rumbly. Isn't he a good finisher in general? Should be better. 10 points is perfectly alright for this level, isn't it? Normally, Thomas, Abangamat again, Ankum, that's not bad. No, he runs, he runs wide, sadly. Should have penetrated in the middle. Ankum, Abangamat, Thomas. Thomas ball is nice for Ankum. Ah, oh, nice shot.
It's another corner. King Dung is taking the corners. We should probably have a look at some point. Here we go. That was not bad. It's all. Interesting defending. What's what's Carrier's heading right away? It's nine, and his jumping reaches nine too, so that's certainly a possibility. Ging Dung Do. What the hell happened? This corner taking is free. We get a free kick. Taken by Choo Choo, lobbed into the penalty area, and that's not good. We do have a 16 year old on the bench that is a reasonable jumper. Choo Choo. With the shot. Or whatever that was. So, so far. Oh, I jinxed it. I just wanted to say, so far we're well in control of the match. Turns out we aren't. Fucking hell. Yeah. Come on, you can do a little bit better. That was a great chance for them. Okay. So, um... Anyone's got any ideas? Yeah, you know what? This needs to be better. This is not good enough. We are apparently we are the superior team. So we should tell them. Pass into space. Due to the good anticipation and off the ball movement of this guy? This guy's anticipation is inexistent. Choo Choo has good off the ball movement and Kung. Okay. You know what? I'll just roll with it. Do you want us to keep on ball, work ball into the box? We can probably do both, right? We'll try. Why not? So one of one of the most stressed. Who was that, Thomas? Why are you stressed of all people? I guess your composure is a bit low. Um, we'll go with this. Now he's happy. He doesn't care. So I think the 6.6 .6 and below guys can have a very special treatment. With being told that this is just not good enough. That works. And with the other ones, I will just encourage them. The 6.7 guy is up. I, I guess he could have a warning too, but... We'll be a little bit more positive for now. Don't want to alienate a squad just yet. Also, Avanga Mat made it in, in, into the second half on a yellow card since minute 7. So that's a plus. Choo Choo, Hong Kong, Carrier, Choo Choo again, that's not good. Hong Kong is really actually a creative outlet that disrupts opposition defense, right? In particular on a 4-4-2. So the central uh, midfielder on attack, that's a good thing. That's also not bad. <laughs> Rizal, <laughs> going for the header. I, I think we need a replacement for Rizaldo. Like, a true left midfielder. And it will not be Choo Choo. That guy though. For a 32 year old or something, he's still in good shape. Certainly controls the game. I think uh, maybe uh, maybe we could also um, go away from defensive winger on him and play him as an advanced playmaker or something on the wing. He does have reasonable crossing though. 
And Ding Dong, that's a really bad corner, is it? Mm, not bad. Thomas on the ball now. That's good. Nice block. Gotta give him that. Minute 49. Well, it's minute 50, actually. Choo choo. It's we need better central defenders. Thomas. Rizal. Not a penalty. We are in control of the ball. This will be another corner, won't it? Doesn't look like it. Please get the ball. We don't. Zaydin Hatafon. Hopefully we get some insights into their um, into their playing squad after this. Apparently they really like to go for corners in this iteration of Football Manager. That or it's just a league. Seems like they like to head it behind. That's reasonable defending. You think so? Yeah, well, um, the assumption is not bad that we can make an impact with that guy. Okay. We'll do it. We'll bring on a 15-year-old. Why not? He did improve in strength recently. So, we'll bring him on as a target forward, though. I don't know. What about set pieces in this situation? So, set pieces on defend. Uh, okay, I'm confused. What's this? It's an in-swinger taken by Choo Choo. Yeah, that's okay. And... Ah, here we go. So this is Krayer. This is Samad. None of these is the player that I expected. What the hell is this injury icon for? Nobody's injured. And where is Zainuddin? So these two can, can stay back, that makes sense. I don't think he needs to be up front, so I disagree with that one. Oh, of course that hasn't been fixed. Of course it hasn't been fixed since FN23. We'll just have a look now. Oh, this is defensive. Where's Sainudin? Thomas is here, Rizal is here. Chucho is here. Carrier. There he is, in the middle of the penalty area. Okay, that makes sense. He is tall, after all. Probably the tallest player on the, on the pitch right now. Easy! This is where the injury comes from. Ankun can continue to play, uh, I'd rather not. Let's take him off the pitch. <laughs> uh, 
Good job, man. Good job. This one's really bad. On the other hand, he has reasonable passing. Can we tell him to take more passing risks? Sure. Also go for the target forward and cross less often, please. And well, they should go for the target forward too, shouldn't they? Given that we have one. And he's probably the tallest guy on the pitch. We can also... Tell them to float the crosses now. 12 points of jumping reach and 12 points of heading. Facing. 10 points of jumping reach and no heading whatsoever. And we don't know about this guy, so probably even worse. I, I just won't. Zaydin, not to be confused with Zainuddin, that's ours. Oh no. Nice job. Well defended at first glance. Come on, Dyer. Come on, this is intercepted by Thomas. Go, man! What are you doing? You are still expected to run even though you're a target forward. <laughs> What's going on with your goalkeepers anyway? It's like everybody is injured all the time with you. Thomas, that's offside, sadly. How's this off the ball movement? Let's have a look at this. His off the ball movement is 8. That's not too shabby. Anticipation is 9. Reasonable play so far. Poor goalkeeper auto rotating system. We'll see in. He didn't have much of a chance. He was looking for a pass, it seems. That said, it was a great occasion. Good opportunity. Should have scored. On the other hand, he's a really bad goal scorer. And well, we're talking about two and a half star, silver star guy. It nearly worked. It nearly worked. The floated cross was clearly visible. And Zainuddin was at the end of the, uh, of it. Of the cross. So let's see if Chuchu can find him again. Nice floated cross. Not this time. Choo choo with another header. I think but that's not good. Shamsuddin's there though. I actually do enjoy the fact that um yeah we, we should probably, right? Who got his name taken? The Meyer, whatever. Emma Dyer, is this one of ours? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Uh we'll replace Choo Choo actually. Don't want him to get hurt. Uh, we'll also bring along this guy. Why not? He's rubbish, but whatever. And we'll play both of the... Like, they are not central defenders, but we'll do... Shall we bring on the attacking midfielder too for Thomas? Why not? This is a youngster. So he doesn't belong here, but we can do that. Oh, we brought on Hussein earlier. Forget about it. That's alright. Yeah, I, w I wanted to replace Thomas. I got confused for a second. And Rizal on the left can actually be replaced with somebody too. So, why not bring on Vahab here? Doesn't matter much. He doesn't know how to play there, but like, well, I'll be fine with this. Mm. Your alternative... The alternative being to play Bala up here in, uh, in defense. So I'm um, still on the wing, on the back. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. It 
Zainuddin. We take those. Go guys. You can do better. A damaged neck? I've never seen that. How long does that take? Mohammed. That's not a second cross, that might have been a penalty. It isn't though. Abdul Samad, Zanavi. Obviously quality is really low now on the pitch, so I don't expect much. Two to four weeks, okay. That was nice defending and now we get a free kick after playing the long ball. Kamal, Amadair, Sein Dean, this is not offside. Goalkeeper's there though. By the way, I forgot to replace the goalkeeper, but it's not worth the effort anymore. And well, to be fair, both of them are really bad. So, I don't even know who to play. <laughs> well, you should have told me that last season, but I, I don't think you were around back then, right? Not when I was in Wales. I should have known. Azmi is not bad. That's a good pass. Oh. We should probably sign a goalkeeper too. I want Simon Owen back, that really solved the matter in, in, in Indonesia. Is Mavi... will we have a second cross? We don't. We really don't. Here we go. A dribble. <sighs> Abdul Samad, that's bad. Intercepted though, keep on the pressure. Or don't. Mohammad with a throw in from Mord Hussein. Mohammad, what a pass. Well, chances are getting created. So, in the end, I'll be happy with the result. Well, maybe not the result, but with the performance. Performance was alright. And now we just need to carry on with this. For when it matters. That's it. Um, could do with some improvement, obviously. On the other, other hand, I think we will improve. At least for some of them. They can't get much worse. Well, the tactical tweak seemed to have worked fine. So, that's good. Bahab with an interesting pass. Seriously, you can't intercept that. Not bad. Acres of space for Zaidin now. I'm a dire, the defending. Oh, no! Seriously, don't tell me he gets thrown off the pitch now. Straight red. <laughs> it's just a friendly though. So we are fine. We will just give it like this. Can we just do nothing? Wonderful. Defensive midfield is missing. They... They gave... They were given the penalty. Why? Alright, his reflexes is what? Two? Five? Something like this. He did have his hands on the ball. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I guess this is, this is what earns the 10k. Yeah. Like, he could have literally stood there and just made, like, like this. And he would have catched the ball. He decided to go this way and deflect it there into the goal. So, good job with the goalkeeping.
With the exception of the penalty, it was fine. Why? That had to happen. No, I don't believe that I lost this. You are totally right, dear game. When the real fixtures start, I want to see a significant improvement. Well, super narrow pitches, it, it, that might be really nice. It, it depends. Um, do you have, you probably have really fast strikers in your 4 3 3, right? So that might just work. Okay. Well, he didn't get sent off early, though. Uh, is like a hoof ball is defined as um, it depends, but I guess a hoof ball is everything that uh, is beyond the defender's line, right? Their defensive line. So shouldn't that imply long and narrow instead? So there's more space to um, to exploit behind them. So not as small as possible, but as as narrow as possible, but also as long as possible. That implies obviously that you have um. Like fast defenders and fast strikers. And if all your players are crap, then, uh, well, I don't know. Um, it's, it's always about being crap in comparison to something, though. So they might be good at something in comparison to the rest of the league. Yeah, let's invite that guy in. 38-year-old goalkeeper. Well, we had some possession, so that worked. We had more shots. That worked. We had better expected goals. That worked. And with the exception of the red card and the penalty, we were doing fine. Okay. Let's also have a look at the social groups. There's two players in here that have similar levels of professionalism. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what we signed them for. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. But, um... You do not, yeah, but you do not care much about um, about possession, do you? So the perfect hoof ball for you is a penetrating pass behind the defender's line, isn't it? Or did I, am I mis misunderstanding? It's like, it, it doesn't matter to you if it's out on the wing or if it's in the middle. You hoof the ball away and then uh, you hope that one of your attackers runs towards it. Might be into space, might be somewhere else, doesn't matter much. Not at all? Okay, so maybe I misunderstand. So how do chances create get created for you? Is the question I want to ask. Um, obviously, I don't know better than you, given that it's your safe. Um, I'm just trying to understand what creates chances for you te your team. So next time out, we have enough players. Oh no, we need to play some of the rubbish players. As I see it. Like this. He's no good at this. We'll still play him like this, right? Hmm. 
Yeah. I, I, I think I know what hoofball is. I've seen Scottish football at some point. <laughs> so... Um... But there it can still be, like, even with hoofball, I, I can, on, on the top of my head, I can think of three alternative ways to score. Like, you hoof the ball forward, right? Um, I have no idea about whatever, whoever plays up front. So, depending on how you set up the team, um, say, you're going with a 4-1-4-1 right now? No, what, what are you going with? It was a 4-3-3. You went with a defensive midfielder. So there's three attackers up front. It's a 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, those three attackers might all be very fast. So if they are very fast, the hoof ball, it's just like, pass into space and let them run. You, you don't care much about wherever the ball is placed, obviously, in all of these occasions. But the concept for them to reach the ball is their pace. That might be different, though. You might have a target forward up front. Somebody that is really strong and usually can defend the ball. And, I don't know, the other two are fast or whatever. Maybe it's three really strong guys. Who knows? So, it's straight wherever. And maybe one of them accidentally stands there and uh, picks up the ball and can uh, shield it against the defender. So then um, one of the other attackers goes forward too, and uh, who knows? Yeah, exactly. Like, um, it, it's, it's, it's free attackers, so it's no typical, um, no typical big man, little man partnership, as you usually do in strike partnerships, because there's three people. But um, usually they will be a version of that. Um, it might also be, um, it's li like, you can play this with free pressing forwards, for example. So you move the ball up the pitch. And uh, one of the enemy, uh, enemy, one of the <laughs> one of the opponent's defenders, um, maybe defends this at first glance, but you just press them immediately. That's that's also a variation of hoofball, isn't it? Like hoofball just describes the passing; it doesn't describe what happens afterwards, does it? Maybe I misunderstood that. So my question was, what happens afterwards? It does not have to be have to be constructive build-up play or something. I, I guess it wouldn't make much sense to have a deep-lying forward up front. On the other hand, who knows if this is what you have? So, this is what I'm trying to comprehend. And depending on that, I, I think it implies what kind of um, pitch you should uh, utilize. If all, of the, if all of your attackers, all three of them, are really slow, uh, you probably shouldn't go long and narrow. Because, well, they will be outrun by the opponent's defenders. But, if they are pretty fast, tactic in Discord, that's best. <laughs> You're the best, man. Let me have a look. Pressing forwards. Okay. So, still doesn't say much about the pace, though. Um, are they fast? But you're basically trying to get the ball from, uh, well, you push through their defenders. And, well, now I will argue that um, depending on how fast they are and how, how um, likely it is that you can break, um, maybe you can just change the pitch in accordance to that. If they are really slow, closer to the goal is probably good. Elf. 11, 12, and 6. So, for Wales, what is this com in comparison to the league? 11, 12 is probably pretty fast. If the one with 6, for example, is the one in the middle and a stronger one, you might, you might do some weird, like, fake target forward thing. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to tell you how to play. That makes sense. I'm just just trying to understand. Okay, next match 
is a home game, then it counts. 45 trials will finish. <laughs> oh shit, he can't be on the bench, he can't be on the bench. He's on trial. Fairly consistent, Red's playing big matches. Well, fantastic. He is considered to be a good player for our league though. He has a 38 year old, so we might just sign him. Shall we sign a random goalkeeper? Just for funsies. He's definitely better than what we have, isn't he? Star player, but maybe... But well, I don't care if he's past his best. The XG table. <laughs> Obviously. I think we have a reasonable, like, it's a reasonable thing to maybe sign him. Well, ex expected goals uh, don't tell you much about um, how likely your players are to score, does it? it? It tells you something about the quality of chances created, maybe. But if you employ strikers with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 points of finishing, probably not great. And having a new primary goalkeeper is probably a good idea. How long do we wait for this deal? Hmm. Well. In that, in that case, I'm not sure what to say, but I guess you can still go with your strengths, if there, there are any. I, I guess I just want to encourage you. Kind of weird. Even with hoofball, there's opportunity, man. You can do it. Find, find a concept or whatever. No, on the other hand, it seems to work, so... Maybe I should concentrate on my own game, right? Rizal didn't learn anything so far. So it seems to be like this is a reasonable tactic. On the other hand, one might argue this is just maybe this is just a tactic that Manu needs. Like maybe you should be manager of uh, of Manchester United in real life so that they actually have a chance to win the Champions League. Because maybe that's an appropriate tactic for them. Weekly staff... Oh no. There's a weekly staff meeting here. Can we have a summary to inbox please? Thank you very much. I usually ignore these. I, I think I, I disabled them at some point. You chose to send brief summaries. Cool, where are they?
Any potential loan targets will be shown in the scouting center. Cool. We have a scouting report on these guys too. Oh! They seem to have some reasonable weaknesses. So let's have a look at stronger players. He apparently is a good option in goal. His one on ones are bad. And he should feel bad. Anticipation is really bad. Positioning is not good. 220 per week. Okay. That's it. He has some strengths. Undoubtedly. Mr. Maud Ali. Reasonably fast. Good crosser. So going down the right. Yeah. He. <laughs> There's no doubt that he plays as a wingback because he's uh, he's got um, attacking capabilities. And then there's Mood Siu... What's it pronounced? Siukri Osman. Damn fast. Again. But as a left back, that's not bad. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, there's definitely some things here. No good off the ball movement, apparently. How fast are these guys? <sighs> I expected as much, didn't I? Yeah, they're not that bad. That's it. We can probably tackle him hard. Him not so much. Uh, we are consulting our own stuff for initial recommendations. Cool, that might take a while. He dreads playing big matches for some reason. There are no big matches coming up. Or only big matches, depending on how you see it. It's always a question of perception, isn't it? How long do we wait? Oh, good question. Gate receipt says 14.6 more or less. And that's uh, the two friendly matches. No other matches played. So yeah, we made 10k. Engage receipts. Um, to be fair, we play the players too, so this this basically nets down to it, it's a, it's a net zero more or less, given that forty five k were pumped into the club by the chairman. But yeah, that's a that's able to keep us afloat, actually. Also, are there there there's no recommendation in a scouting center whatsoever. He's the best we can think of, really. Not bad. I also think that this guy is not that bad. Let's take him back on trial for another two weeks. I think that will suffice. I just want to see the remainder of the attributes and maybe Maybe we can offer a contract to him. And this one? Like, the composure is really bad, sure. Concentration is also really low, but the rest of his attributes are fine, and he's 1 meter 80. I see no reason not to... Well, I see a reason not to sign this guy. All right. Um, susceptibility to injury is not good. The goalkeeper is probably the best player we know, though, or know of that. That's not the goalkeeper, that's even worse. Metzala. Uh, it says so for us what would that be that would that's playmakerish material with really bad mantles can he do a central midfielder on attack for example sure 
That could be a thing. He's with Saravak, he's under contract, so we wouldn't need to sign him on a permanent basis, sure. Buy him off them. I'm not sure if that's needed. I'll delay that, that decision. Here it is. Okay, so this is the trial. Let's see. Wow. He should take corners, it says. You know what? I think we'll do this next time. So, um, given that you stuck around for the entire time, I would like to thank you very much for watching. Um, regular stream is tomorrow. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know about the weekend. Um, to be fair, I'm pretty motivated to do it. But on the other hand, I did some bonus streams uh, throughout the week. Um, just to start uh, to kick it off with FM24. Um, I'm in the mood, but who knows. And congratulations on the coaching course. I should probably do one too. Um, come to think of that. But not today. Um, and not, not throughout the season. We will do this after the season. Like, I don't want it to be a quarter star quality training, right? That's fine. Um, so have a have a good long weekend, and uh, I hope you have a lot of success, um, if that makes sense. But thank you very much for mentioning it. So um, <laughs> now uh, I will still miss you, obviously, but uh, you know. Kind of proud of myself. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for that, and I, uh, um, I think I will uh, do the regular stream tomorrow, and then we will see about the weekend. So um, I expect to see most of you tomorrow. And uh, in case we don't, have a good weekend, and we will see each other on Monday latest. Thanks for watching. Bye.